I have just signed an executive order to extend YMH Live until this Friday at midnight. It really was a no-brainer. It's quite literally the best podcast on the internet. The ratings are tremendous and is number one across all platforms. You'd be a cool guy like Sleepy Joe to not watch it. You bet I'm coming up in May. I learned very early in my relationship with Tom mm-hmm. that when he's about to sneeze and he's doing this whole thing, like, I can't acknowledge it. I'm not allowed to look at him. Which is exactly what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> you're literally doing what you say. You're but not I'm not looking at you or asking you about it. I'm talk- telling the audience that I'm ignoring it right now. I was looking at Nadav. I was not talking Wait to you. Wait a minute. Does this add up to you? <laughs> you're like, hey, if there's one thing I've learned, if he's about to sneeze, I can't address that he's about to sneeze. <laughs> well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Oh, Squarespace. I am such a huge fan of Squarespace. I have used Squarespace many times to build websites. I find their platform to be so easy, intuitive. I'm not a computer programmer. I don't know HTML, but you don't have to in order to build a website using Squarespace. You should do it. uh, Use Squarespace to build a site to blog, publish your content, maybe you have photographs you want to put up, maybe it's a business you're advertising, a physical business that needs a website. Everybody needs a website in this day and age. Uh, What I like best about it, the templates, they're clean, intuitive. You ever go on somebody's website and it's just jumbled up and there's too much? You're not going to find that on Squarespace. They have templates for every type of business you can even imagine. Plus they have, um, you know, online shop you can install, search engine optimization, 24-7 award-winning customer support. You're never going to feel like you're alone so go to squarespace.com slash mom for a free trial and when you're ready to launch use the offer code mom to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain good morning my jeans above 18 <laughs> he's really been in our house this morning the king the king is is really dominating <laughs> the interwebs in our phones and our and our hearts and minds this, absolutely this is how we wake each other up in the morning I and we go, have some breaking news big breaking news in the morning i roll over i go good morning my king above 18 and i start giving you pets like that yeah yeah yep it's good fun it is good fun it's Do a good way to wake up and, and i let you know uh <laughs> you know Put your feet on the ground. Get you a sure. get you a shower. Get you some coffee. Get you a nice hot breakfast. Uh. And then you're my beautiful queen. And then <laughs> you know how beautiful you are. And I like that no bra look. And, you know, and a do a little it. dance. Have do some fun dance. with it. Let's you know, all have fun. Make the king laugh. Make me laugh. Oh, that was funny to watch your tits bounce. <laughs> I like when your tits bounce. just have fun with it oh boy yeah oh can i make an announcement yes uh this week's episode entitled no scrubs of where my mom's at podcast Mm -hmm. is where we discover nadab's favorite movie is drumline so you want to check that out that's the original discovery yeah yeah that's very exciting very exciting news here at ymh studios uh, we have a whole new website with all our information, with all the shows, with all the store. It's going to be where we stream live shows, where we can drop new content. It's all at ymhstudios.com. So when you get a chance, if you would, head on over there and check it out and try it out and get you a nice hot breakfast <laughs> and go to ymhstudios.com. And that'll be the home of everything consolidated that comes out of these here studios. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a great Thanksgiving week. It was. I, you know, we canceled our plans because uh, Governor Newsom told us that we weren't allowed to. The governor celebrate. and also, you know, what I'm. Uh, here's one of my things about COVID, and and you know, maybe you at home agree. As soon as the idea to do something with other people brings about any drama, oh. I go, no, no, I'm done. I'm out. I'm good. So like, we were going to have some people over. And as soon as there was like pushback from one of the people, I was like, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I know. You, you, you stay back. Stay back. Forget it. You can stay home. You can stay home. We cannot do this. Easy. Easy. I'm the we same were gonna way. Make, we were going to make a special trip to see my folks. 
which has its own concerns, but we, we had planned out a way to quarantine, stay safe, travel as safely as we could to see them. And then I got a little bit of drama from, you know, some family about, well, what, do, how come you can, I go, it, does it, it push. it's over. No push, no push. We're not doing it. Done. So. Well, that's how Tom and I roll is, yeah. listen, uh, I've decided but from the time we went, I think it was when we first got married, was it 09? And we didn't have two pennies to rub together. And we went to Hawaii for Thanksgiving. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, it's a funny sentence. Well, it's true because we use like our Amex travel points. We had yeah, no yeah. money when we got married. Yeah. And I remember that year going, wow, you can do that. That was the best discovery. You can and, do that. And here's the thing. Our kids are so young <laughs> that it sucks to travel with them. As soon as they're of age, we're doing it again. And what yeah. you do is you leave on holidays <laughs> and you tell people, God, I wish I could spend time with you. <laughs> you know? But the problem is I'm 5,000 miles away. Oh, I wish I could. Yeah. But also the realization that you don't have to suffer through the holidays. I know. You can spend them with whomever you choose. You may eat whatever By you like. By the way, like. those points are the shit. If you if you don't if you're not on the points game, this is not a new <laughs> discovery, but points can get you airfare. Oh yeah, they can get you a uh, uh, hotel stay. They can get you rental cars. You can do a lot with some some credit card reward points. I know because at the time we were using the the credit card to buy airline tickets to work, and well, so we'd accrue all these points. You know something? I don't know if I told you this or not. Uh oh. But so. <laughs> oh no. At that time. I, we used, I remember now vividly, <laughs> we used points for the airfare and for staying there. And the only thing we would really come out of pocket on would be the incidental charges, which mm -hmm. is like, you know, your meals and anything. And I had in my mind what it would be. <laughs> and it was like seven or eight times that amount. <gasps> oh my God. It was Hawaii. Hawaii when you go on vacation, like everything, you like you order coffee and eggs I and they're like, it's $60. You're like, what? It's vacation. So, yeah, yeah. But, um, I remember uh. that I had, I had been that in my mind and then I was like, Oh my God. <laughs> and <laughs> it took me, um, like eight months to, to pay off that bill. <laughs> like I thought I would be, paying it the next month and, and whoops uh, yeah well you know what's good tom is that um we're still as responsible now you yep. know what i mean like yep. yes you bought a ferrari but when we got i'm sorry a lamborghini but when mcdonald's fired us i you, returned it you returned it yeah so that's cool mcdonald's says you don't get 2.2 .2 million and then i told lamborghini you don't get four hundred sixty-seven thousand. <laughs> so yeah, but we really have made a pact with each other to not make ourselves miserable over the holidays, and I think it's really helped our marriage. I don't our know sanity. how anybody doesn't consider that. Or like when they invite your family over, and you're like, "No, no, stay with us." You and I have always been like, "No, no, there's a hotel down the street. Like, yeah. there's a mile away. There's a great courtyard Marriott." Yep. And then you can rent a car and you can come see us whenever we we tell you you can. That was that's another one. <laughs> that's a big that one. You Boundaries. Be, you have to be fortunate enough to do, but I've I've done that where you go, no, I got you something. <laughs> this and is the trick go, that what? we've done here. And you go, I got your hotel room. And they're like, what? This and is you're surprised. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's on me. And then then they're just not staying with you. We've done. That. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got yeah. you like a really nice hotel. Why don't you go People stay there? People are like, wow. that's really nice of you, and you're like, I'm a nice guy. No, you're not. You're just trying to. And by the way, you can use points for that too. You can use points for that. Too. That's what that might be the best use of points ever. Is like you have yeah. family come to town and you go, "I got your hotel," and they're like, "What? Use your points." <laughs> and can I? May I compliment my own Thanksgiving dinner? Yeah, I did a really good job. You did this a great year. job. I got the honey baked ham. And I gotta tell you, I'm an outspoken non-conformist to Thanksgiving food. Yeah. Like I really like, I really like what I did as far as getting steaks, getting lobster, getting things that are not traditional Thanksgiving. But every once in a while, you got to give in and do traditional Thanksgiving. Well, for the kids. They have yeah. to know what Thanksgiving. We can't be this antisocial, un-American. Anyways, I, I did it. And um, I think you did a really, really great Thank job. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I'm proud of myself. Yeah. All right. Let's open the show. We didn't okay. do the show intro yet. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's, get, let's party here. Let me make sure this is all the way up. Volume gets you a nice hot breakfast. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh.
So this TikTok's for my mom. Mom, remember that Chanel bag I really wanted that you wouldn't buy for me? I let an old man fuck me for it. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> this shit is big time. Who is Ryan? <laughs> Don't bring anyone muffin to this. Jesus Christ. Your mama in the fucking stand. Welcome. Welcome. That's so Welcome cool. That's awesome. Your mom's house. With Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Meow. Meow. You see this definition? Wow. I'm not supposed to talk. He's going to have a sneezing fit. Before we started rolling, Tom sneezed, no exaggeration, a dog, what, 14 times? Yeah, it was it was quite a bit. It was the most I've ever seen and, in a row. And I think these are allergies. I don't yeah. think this is the Rona. But I learned very early in my relationship with Tom mm -hmm. that when he's about to sneeze and he's doing this whole thing, like, I can't acknowledge it. I'm not allowed to look at him. Which is exactly what you're doing. <laughs> you're literally doing what you say. You're but not I'm not looking at you or asking you about it. I'm telling the audience that I'm ignoring it right now. I was looking at Nadav. I was not talking. Wait a minute. That is this sad up to you? No. Yeah. This is totally just a B conversation. You know, yeah. an A B conversation, yeah. and you're just kind of butting your, into it right see your now. Way up. <laughs> so. I'm not talking to you though. I was trying to vamp so that you could sneeze. I'm no, no, no. Vamping. That, that, like the thing that takes me out of it is he's so demanding you're acknowledging that you know what it is <laughs> you're like hey if there's one thing i've learned if he's about to sneeze i can't address that he's about to sneeze <laughs> it went away you you made the fucking sneeze go away i can't even talk about it i God thought damn I, it. I, thought, I thought you knew this i thought i was allowed to talk about it with someone else but i'm not no. to talk when did about that it. ever come up when did that ever come up I well, we've never had this issue before. I've always thought I'm allowed. Bro, I, I thought you were fucking on board that you know when a sneeze is coming, and you're like, you know, if there's something I know, it's not to talk about the sneeze that <laughs> when he's about to sneeze. I'm like, I, I'm wait, about to sneeze. Wait, but can I tell you something? In my brain, I genuinely thought I found a loophole because I was like, I'm talking to Tom about it. I'm not talking to you about it. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really thought I was like, he's not gonna get mad at me because I'm not talking to him. I'm talking to him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> retarded, retarded. Uh, <laughs> God, God. totally um, ruined it. Um, so I did have an incredible sneezing fit before, <laughs> one that I haven't had in probably like. At least a year. It was more than a dozen sneezes. You enjoy them, though, that you like your body functions. You said it feels good. I cannot believe you did that. Did you like them? No, I cannot believe you ruined my the one that I was about to do. Okay, so next time when you on the break. Okay, let me. let me Tell me what to do. Should we sit here in silence until you have them? Just Is that have what a you fucking want? conversation about something else. Okay, I didn't know I wasn't allowed to talk How about, are about you? the sneeze. I th here's the thing. Listen to me. I really thought I just wasn't allowed to address <laughs> you during your... I thought I wasn't allowed to address you. I didn't know I wasn't allowed to talk about it with another party. So, okay. All right. All right. Fair look, look it, right. I, I Fair really enough. didn't understand. Fair enough. I don't know the rules. So next time when you're about to sneeze, I'm supposed to ignore you and say, Nadav, uh, did you see the Tyson, the Tyson exhibition with... Uh, Nate Johnson. Nate Johnson. The other day. That's my old boss at Public Safety. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I did. You watched it? It was you quite did? a spectacle. It was it cool. Was. I, didn't, I didn't see the, the Nate Robinson fight, but I saw the Tyson and Jones. You didn't see that? I saw the very, like, I started watching right when, right when they're like, holy shit, he got knocked out. That was well, I will say this. I actually really started to think about, this might sound crazy to people. I started to think about YMH Live. During the fight. No, during the, the event. Because of the fact that I realized, oh, this is 
uh, something to do some like this is i i realized that it was it was providing like as as outrageously different as the two type of things are i go oh this is what this is like i i was now the consumer going you know what it's like it's something to do that's kind of exciting kind of fun yeah, taking and you out i thought them. they did a great job of like putting on an event like even if you weren't like into everything that they're doing or all the musical actors like, you know to like to put that together it, it's it was no small feat you know like they they had that all constructed at i think at the staples center they had stages for performances they had rings for the fights and had the commentators, uh, Izzy Adesanya did a great job. Snoop did a great job talking. That Sugar Ray. I don't know who the main anchor guy was on that. I didn't recognize him. But regardless, I thought they did a good job of putting on a show, like mm. making it something, you know, a spectacle to watch. Mm. Uh, we should mention that YMH Live 3, um, you guys were so good to us that um, uh, there was no reason to take it down. So if you're watching this right now and you still yet have not seen it, you can watch YMH Live 3 at ymhvirtual.com until Friday at midnight. Now, that being said, the, um, the fight before, the Jake Paul, Nate Robinson fight, oh my God, that was, that was the heavy segment. Yeah. Um, I missed that. I, what was I doing? You might have been with one of the kids. Yeah. So what happened was, you know Jake Paul, right? Logan Paul, Jake Paul, they're like internet uh, sensations. They have these huge social media followers. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I don't even know what, I don't know, what they did to get famous. I just knew that they were famous at some point. Um, they, they started off on Vine, and then they parlayed, once Vine shut down, they parlayed that into YouTube, and now, uh, yeah. So they YouTubers. were just Viners? Yeah. So they're big YouTubers. I knew that they would do, like, that Logan would do vlogs and stuff. And then he eventually started a podcast and everything. I, I, I don't know much about him. I remember him, you know, always getting into some shit. Like, whatever. Things would, he would, um, he was a polarizing guy, you know, would get in shit. I remember the the dead body in the forest, remember? And, and, and that was like a huge Oh, I thing. remember that. That's how yeah. I know that guy's name. Yeah. Gotcha. So that, that's this dude's brother. And then... I think Logan, the older one, announced he was going to fight someone first. I mean, I just thought it was publicity stunt. It kind of is. But they took it seriously, like the fighting. And you could tell if you've, like, watched boxing at all that, you know, Jake was ready to box. I mean, you could tell that he was, he was a you know, coming into the ring, um, like, establishing a jab. Like, you know, just kind of, like, doing what you do in, in boxing. And Nate Robinson is a former NBA player. So I didn't even realize that Nate called him out and was like, I'll whoop your ass or something like that. And so that's what, that's what set this up. But mm. when, man, the nerves of a fight take over. So he was like charging at Jake, like charging at him. Like I thought he was going to tackle him multiple times. And he wasn't boxing. He was not boxing. He was running at him and... It was inexperience. It was, you know, never having been in that position, never having really boxed other than trained. And you could see that, like, Jake was definitely the more trained boxer. And then he knocked him, by the way. I mean, not to shit on the whole thing, but that ref should have called it after the second time he went down. The second time he went down, he gave him an extended count by my count. I was like, oh, that's 10. That's 11, 12. And he was like, you all right? And then he told me to like, show me your gloves. Like, and he had to explain it to him. And you could hear the mic. He was like, you need to put your gloves up here if you're going to go back. And then he was like, yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh, he's, you should wave this off. Like, this is not mm. going to go well. And then he fucking knocked him out for like a good minute. Like he was blacked out, completely knocked out. Mm. Not when you see like a knockout and the guy gets up. That dude was asleep face down and that kind of shit has lasting damage you know i mean it can have it can that can fuck for you sure. up for that can change things in your brain for for sure for sure but anyway then we watched tyson jones you did watch that one with me I, well i'm a huge fan of mike tyson for obvious reasons yep. 
Uh, one being that he's a huge fan of you mm-hmm. and your your joke about him. And, but, I mean, he's an amazing fighter, too. So Yeah, it's like nostalgic, too. You it's know? the best. That's what we grew up with. Like, uh, oh, yeah. Our dads ordering his fights and then All being the like, fuck. Yeah. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Um, and him and now the ear biting. Was that Tyson? Yeah. I remember that. That was a good one, too. I mean, so many great fights. But what I loved... It's a great one to bring up. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I remember. Um, but Tyson is such a beast, and his the physicality of this man... He's 53 or 54. He looks amazing. Jones did not look as good. He did... He did no. Like, he did show some sparks of his old self where he would do the... Um, he had this very, like, um, signature thing where he would he would box with his front, like his lead hand down and basically almost taunt you with his Mm. face, which is a very dangerous thing to do unless you're super skilled. And he did that a few times. And, um, you know, it was, it was entertaining. He he definitely wasn't in the same physical shape and a couple times, but I do think that Tyson actually did the thing that no one thought he would do, which is show some restraint. Um, he, there was a couple times where I was like, Oh, right here at the end, he'll kill him. Like the the ten second. Yes, um, I was waiting for it. And, and it was at the end of the fight, and you could tell that he was like, "Oh no!" Like, this went in the distance. We're good. And I was like, "Oh, he's being like, he's cool being about respectful." It. And yeah. what's interesting is Tyson afterwards they said, "Well, how do you feel you did?" And he goes, "I gave them a good show." He kept saying that I gave the audience a good show. And just apropos of what you were saying earlier, like that's really what that was. It, it was, and. He was always cognizant of that. When I, yeah. I'll never forget, like I've talked to him a few times now, but the first time that I talked to him at length was when he came to my show in the green room and we talked about putting on a good show. So Mike Tyson and I were talking about, I was, I was talking about boxing and I, I was asking him his opinion on this fighter, that fighter, all these, you know, and he was super down and very honest. And he talked to me about how certain fighters um, who will remain unnamed uh, don't put on great shows and how he's mm. like, they're boring and he doesn't really, he goes, but I was always a showman. Yes. Like indeed. I know people want to see a knockout. So I'm trying, that's what like part of the reason I'm trying to knock people out is yes to win the fight and have it be over. But part of the reason is because I know that all these people are here to see that. Yeah. So he's like trying to put on a show, you know, Jones did say afterwards that he was like, those body shots hurt like fucking yes. shit, Yes. Well, could you imagine? Oh, no. my gosh. Getting hit by Tyson has got to be horrible. And Jones is notably, I mean, they're close in, in in height, but like in weight and in build, they're not. You know, Roy Jones Jr. was not a heavyweight. Mike Tyson was a heavyweight. Wow. So you're, when you're fighting a different weight class, it's really different, the, the power that can but be can delivered. You, do you imagine? Oh, that's right. They said Tyson lost 100 pounds for the 100 fight. 100 pounds? Yeah. I heard I heard that too, and I was like, "That can't be." Factually. I don't think that's. I, I don't think that's accurate. Kept, he kept on saying he, that yeah, he, was, he was getting in shape for the last like year or two and lost a yeah. hundred pounds. Damn. I mean, Tyson. And when I did see him last, he he was like notably overweight. But he looked amazing. The guy's he looked like he was what thirty five years old. Yeah. I mean, my goodness. And, and he was also super hyped up after the fight, which was actually scary. He's like, "We're gonna do this shit all the time." Yeah, that was, was rad. Like, He's and, like, fuck humanity. And I was like, oh, uh, yeah, I don't even know juiced. what this means. So he was real juiced. And what I really enjoyed was the age factor. It was exciting to see older men doing this. And in fact, I would encourage older boxing. I would like to see 60, 70 year olds box. I think it's way more precarious because the whole time you're like, oh, he's going to get really fucked up. You know, you want to see. I would love the seniors uh, fight. I would love elderly boxing. And I think we should start to do it. Look, look, uh, 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 there's what, female want? boxers now. There's female MMA. Let's do geriatric fighting. I think that's really the next move. Yeah. OK. Yeah. What can we get? We can get. <laughs> We could get Larry King and Ed Asner. Oh, that's a great... Wouldn't you love that? Um, I don't know that that would be a good show. I mean, <laughs> it could be if like you want to just see somebody, you know, die. Just break. <laughs> that's what I want to see. Oh, my God. Remember what I sent you, you guys, over the weekend? Yeah. How could I forget? <laughs> Dude, what did I send you? So... Both of you guys sent a whole bunch of links to us over the weekend. Mm-hmm. And uh, Tom... 
Tom sent the link to me and Zolo, and I was like, oh, okay, let's see what this is. And uh, it was someone getting sucked into a machine, mm -hmm. getting all of the skin ripped off of their body, <laughs> and seeing big clouds of blood mist, yeah. like all in security Happy camp footage. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, what the fuck do you want us to do with this? <laughs> Because I don't even I don't even think we could really show this on a live. Right. But but what did I send you? No, no, he's not done yet. Oh, sorry. And uh, I mean, it, it just it. It's like it. I, it's like a degloving. I've heard uh, Drew talk about deglovings before. Yes. And I thought that only meant like the skin on your arm getting degloved. But I've never realized that uh, an entire body could get degloved. And then the photos afterwards. Yeah, just a pile of skin next to Wait the minute. next to the machine. This isn't is this the video that you guys can I see it? Yeah, sure. Let me see if I can Wait, dig it the up. Only I reason mean we didn't I, prep it. Tom, the only reason I bring up what I sent them is just because you and I have different ideas of what's funny and festive. Yeah, no, I understand that. I'm just saying that he wasn't just you know, done talking about the video. Yeah, oh I know. It was pretty cool. And then he so he goes, What are we supposed to do? And I was like, No, I was just sharing it with you. <laughs> yeah because i mean you just sent the link you yeah. just sent the link in the tweet and it's like oh okay well i imagine you know we'll we'll figure out where to what show to filter this into and i was like no 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 it's not for a show oh it's just to god. show you oh my god even just seeing it oh god okay Here yeah go. so this is this is exactly what you sent them this is i sent them this on thanksgiving so can you make that big can you describe it for the audience yeah so there's a guy right there and he's like walking up to a piece of machinery and then he reaches over, and I think his, um, yeah, right there, like wow. it catches what he's wearing. And it's spinning like at a really high rate of speed. And he does, and then all of a sudden, it just starts spinning him around. I don't know how. And then, like, clothes and everything's coming off of him. And then eventually, the, like, his whole body. Whoa. Yeah, it's pretty wild. But here's the thing I found out <laughs> he's okay. No, he's not. Okay. <laughs> he's a pile of skin and meat. <laughs> he's fine. I found out. I found out he's fine. Like how? How do you, I don't even understand how you're smiling. Like I don't. There's so many. Every time I think I get what makes you laugh with these, it's the game changes almost immediately when I have that thought. Like I, I think just last week, you're like, look. I want to get more into the violence, lane, but I don't want to see people die. And then I'll two tell days you something later, about this, this video that 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 is like, it is comical to watch the body fling around like that. I okay? gotta take this off. Yeah. <laughs> like it's funny to watch that part. Yeah. Like the flinging around, you know, like. It's, it, it feels like a cartoon. The yeah. rag, the rag doll. <laughs> the rag doll. You like seeing that? Um, but then, like, it's also here's the thing: it's wide security cam footage. So it's not like detailed footage, you know? Yeah. I disagree. You do? Yeah, I've never seen a video where I saw a, a cloud of blood mist in the video, and it's you see multiple. You see that multiple times in this one. Ugh. I think what ruins it for me because I think Tom's right. It looks like a cartoon in the beginning, so I'm not really like, oh, this is fake. But then to see the other workers walk by and go like, oh my god, and then yeah. to see them like collapse in horror, then you're like, oh, this is real. It's really happening, and I don't like that. Yeah, Tom, let me ask you. Yeah, I'm not sure either what's happening. When you watch husband. these videos, like, in this point, when's the moment you decided to send this to <laughs> me yeah. and Zola? To ruin your day. Like, well, well, yeah. I think you sent this on Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. So what happened was, I saw that and I go, like, what the fuck? And then the guy who sent it to me oh, goes, this is for why I make live. <laughs> No, no, no. This no, is, it's not. No, no, not to show. <laughs> this is for making me watch YMH Live. Oh, okay. Like he was like, this is payback. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't think we could show this. <laughs> so we could show it. We could definitely show it. I don't think so. I don't think no, it's we could. funny. No, Do you know what I'm saying? No, we but he's could. saying we could. You know what? That might be the the closer on the next one. It starts it's, getting into snuff it's territory. It's dark. Though. Well, yeah. I think there's there's laws about it. No, it's no. His, his follow-up was the images in high-definition photos of the aftermath there that yeah, I don't was like that. wild because that had the guy's hand still holding on to the <gasps> equipment yeah god i gotta sneeze 
so bad. So anyway, Nadav, did it, you got the Tyson fight? Yeah, and I just saw all sorts of mayhem. I saw mm, Mike God. Tyson, you know, still deliver it and still be just as terrifying in the ring. Yeah. And then uh, I got an email that shows Tom could be just as terrifying as ever <laughs> also. <laughs> oh, but what did I send you guys for Thanksgiving? Um, a whole bunch of really fun talks. Right, but I mean, I, specifically a text a text Ugh. ring I sent you guys. I think it was a special needs girl singing, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. But that's the difference between you and me, Tom. That you're, you're about the mentally <laughs> deficient. Yeah. I like, I like that kind of stuff that makes me laugh, and then you like gory stuff. Do we have like ten to twelve Benadryl? I think I need <laughs> to take some. Take it. I'm serious. Do we have any Benadryl? I don't think I don't we, think we do. have any. What are you here? allergic to? I don't know, but it's it's really intense right now. Oh, I see that your eyes are all watery. Is now, it my perfume? Maybe. I don't think so. Do you wear it? often yeah you know i will say that this dusty? didn't really start until i walked in and sat across from nadav oh so you're allergic to jays now as well no, <laughs> <God. laughs> no what is it what is the take it there <laughs> i just meant you specifically mm, okay allergic to fans so, of drumline so, so, sorry tom <laughs> I approve juice. Go ahead. Tom, I'd like to make a formal announcement. <laughs> Go ahead. On this show, I have a huge announcement. If you would cue the uh, YMH soundboard, please. Mm hmm. Oh, God. Ugh. This is what I live oh. with, by the way. This is a YMH exclusive. These YMH sounds. Exclusive. Yeah, but let's let's backtrack yeah. here. Yeah. All the morning was the same. Everything was the same. We get here, we sit, and we talk to Nadav. All of a sudden, I have an allergic reaction. Mm, I know. Do, do can what you eat make you do this? No, I don't think so. It's like I mean, inhale. Maybe it's dusty. Would you? Did you guys do? I do have a. I do have a, a, a severe dust allergy. Yeah, maybe it's dust. I mean, not, not any more As dusty than in normal. Asbestos, Ugh. mesothelioma. Um. <laughs> I don't know if that is even. They just have commercials for it. Anyways, I have a huge announcement. I um after 15 years together with this man next to me, my dear husband, uh, baby daddy, Paramoa. Yep. I have never had a conversation with him while he's in the shitter taking a dump. I have many times tried to talk to him through the door to get vital pieces of information or anything like that. And you never break. You always pretend like you can't hear me calling your name. Mm -hmm. Or I'll be like, Tom, Bye. knock, 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 Tom. What time is the kids? Da, 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 da. And that's what I hear through the door. Yep. And you pretend yeah. like the conversation isn't happening. So today, for the first Sniff time. That one. Yeah. For the first time in 15 years, Tom <clears throat> yelled at me through the door as he was making a brown about our trip being canceled and he uh, he announced it that, hey hey guess what the hotel gave us our money back or whatever and yep. i was like oh, this is it this is the first time in 15 years that he's talked she was so excited through the door she wasn't excited about the refund she was excited <laughs> about that i was talking to her with the toilet with the door yeah. closed well i feel as though we finally gotten that intimacy in the relationship that i so desperately crave yeah. with you yeah. Is it so much to ask to have a conversation while you're taking it down? I, I really like my peace and quiet in there. I like it. <laughs> I like to be able to just, you know, you know what I mean? Just relax. I do know what you mean. Um, we should stop down. I got to get something. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, right. I can't continue. This episode is brought to you by Policy Genius. The holiday season sure knows how to lighten your wallet. For many families, December is one of the most expensive months of the year, not to mention the busiest. If you're looking for a fast and easy way to put some money back in your pocket, why not reshop your home and auto insurance rates with policygenius.com? This is actually a really smart and easy way to see if you can save some substantial money just by checking this out. You go over to policygenius.com, you answer a few quick questions about yourself and your property, they do the rest. They compare rates from over 30 top insurers from Progressive to Nationwide to find the lowest quotes. Why not just try that to see if it can work 
for you. If you're feeling the pinch during the holiday season, find out how much you could save on home and auto insurance at policygenius.com. They've saved their home and auto insurance customers an average of $1,000 a year by reshopping. Policy Genius, when it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. Oh, sometimes um, I'm alone with my kids all day and the best part of my day is when the kids are playing in the backyard and I get to pull up Best Fiends on my phone and it's an escape. I like the colors. I like the sounds that the creatures make. I know that sounds silly, but I really do. I like feeling a sense of accomplishment and um, going up the levels. I like that it's challenging, but not so challenging that I'm like annoyed by it. It's a really fun game and it's easy, but not too easy. It's got over a hundred million downloads. It's a five-star rated mobile puzzle and it's really fun. They've got more levels, events, and challenges added all the time. Um, when you want just one more level, it'll be there waiting and ready. Just try it. Download Best Fiends. Boredom will not stand a chance. So download Best Fiends free today on the Apple App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R. Best Fiends. We're back. We had to take a break. I've never had this um, like allergies pop on while I we're know. doing that's so weird how many benadryl did you take i just took uh one right now oh well that's not gonna be enough you we know that we didn't even revisit the opening clip and how amazing <laughs> that was <laughs> yeah so this tiktok's for my mom mom remember that chanel bag i really wanted that you wouldn't buy for me i let an old man fuck me for it fuck you bitch how happy are you we have sons <laughs> no do you think it was that old man in that movie we watched last week? Which old man was that? that? Banged her? You know the one that you made me watch his face. Oh. Was that YMH Live? Uh, that's not a movie we watched last week. <laughs> I'm taking it like iTunes. I'm like, what movie did we watch last week? That you old, mean an adult film. An adult feature film. But that's the kind of guy, by the way. And if you're, you know, we always try to encourage um, <laughs> smart, business savvy women to get yours and we we've, <laughs> we've endorsed it before on the show yes. panties socks whatever but i really got to say if you're in a position to have an old sloppy stinky old yeah. man bang you and you get something in exchange it's worth it i think it's a great idea well and she chose a timeless chanel bag beautiful I mean, a bag that's like a gorgeous that, bag she's going to be using that for the rest of her life and by the way this chick's what you know 19 or something yeah okay that bag's probably a couple grand mm -hmm. to get like to take one from an old man it probably didn't last long no he didn't hurt her you know, it's Unless not, like he, took, he, it's not like he split her in half. But he I, probably was like, Ugh. <laughs> and then here, here's a two thousand dollar bag. How it's, is that a bad deal? It's totally worth it. I agree, Tom. And also, but do you think the Viagra, if he took Viagra, that makes it last longer? It though, does. Right? But here's the thing. Like he hasn't been in a 19 year old piece of ass in fucking 50 years. Yeah. So it's like he probably went in there was like, this is uh, uh, and, and then, then done. yeah, it's done. And guys like that. You know, we, we had the cockroach here who begocked six times in 12 hours. If it's an old, truly an old man, like she's saying, dude, it's one and done. That guy, one and done. That guy busts a nut every three weeks, you know. <laughs> so I would say uh, salute to you. I wish I could read. Can you read what her handle is? Real, Val Real Valouise. Real. Can you see it? Real Valouise. I just can't read it. Well, good for real Ava Louise. There you go. Ava Louise. Good for you, girl. Yeah. Well, real and also, Ava Louise, you're right. Good is, for you. It is an F you to mom. It is. You know, fuck you, mom. Yeah. Why don't you? But you, you should want, buy your kids you a thousand want, dollar bag. You don't want me to fuck old guys? Then buy me cool shit. <laughs> That's what that the is, message is. That is the threat. It's like either you buy this for me or I'm going to. And by the way, guys. that I mean, this this may have worked. She may. <laughs> She may go to her mom after her mom sees this talk and she goes, I got, I want to get these Gucci boots. And mom's like, no. And then she goes, you mean to suck off Hal? <laughs> Hal, Hal, our old landlord? Hal? That lives down the street. <laughs> He's on dialysis. You mean to go give him a blowjob? And then she's like, all right, all right, all right. What size are you again? And then she buys her the boot. I mean, it's, it's good negotiation. It, it is. It is a good extortion tool for kids. It's a good lesson. That's what the end of the day, <laughs> this clip is a great, great lesson. Okay. Is there anything, hold on, would you would you have oh. sex with an older woman for any 
material item. What would you for a Rolex? I think you would. No. The Mariner. Oh, you mean like Submariner? That's something you like? Yeah, no, that's a very popular one. I mean, you're talking about when I was in her position. When I'm 19. Or are you talking? Yeah. About... You, let's say you've, you're not an adult. You have no money. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, no you're you're. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Dame Judy Dench. You, you could have gotten me to do all kinds of foul shit. Uh, when I was 19 or 20 and been like, here's a few thousand dollars. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, no, no, no. I didn't offer you a few, few thousand dollars. No, but I'm saying a few thousand I, dollar item. Right. I offered you the stuff in which then yes. you'd have to hawk. There you go. There's Jane Duty, Judy Dent. She got to yeah. do her. Yes. Yeah. If I'm 19 or 20 and you're like, do you want this cool mm-hmm. sub or do you want, you know, whatever, like a nice jacket or something that I can't afford? And you're like, you just have to fuck this old lady. I'd be like, yeah, of course I'll do it. I gotta tell you. And a story. also, like you know, you fucking trip when you're 19 and your dick gets hard. So it's like it's Jeez. not like it's a, it's not like a big thing to work this out. I'm gonna share a story with you that I've never shared. with Oh you my before. god. Okay. okay. Oh god. Now, I'm embarrassed. Even. I'm, I'm like, so I'm excited. The, the details. Okay. The How details. do I tell us without? So one time, there was an older man who was interested in me. And I mean, in his mid 40s, like how old I am now, 44, let's say, mid 40s. Yeah. And I was 20, 22 years old. Smoke show. Smoke show. Mm-hmm. Height of my youth, couldn't be any skinnier. Tits couldn't be any more perfect. I mean, I was cute, right? 22 year old Christina. Yeah. Look, look, come on. Those are the road rolls days. Cool hair. So I've never gone out with an older man in my life like i'm not interested i'm not i'm not that was okay that was on the challenge wasn't looking at you jesus christ i mean it hasn't stopped i i took the medicine somewhere i'm older there i'm 28 there but yeah around that time okay so any hoodles for some reason i'm intrigued he's not american so maybe i've got this thing with him because he's european i'm like all right i'm gonna try this maybe i'm gonna be the girl that goes out with older guys yeah okay so we go for a walk this is in a a foreign country i'm in a foreign country at the time and i have no money i have no i'm so poor by the way you said foreign country like you know that i lived in many foreign countries no no i don't want to say i don't want to give it i'm trying i'm trying to give details without giving too many you know what i'm saying so any hoodles we're in another country. We're walking around. And I and I think the reason I'm saying that is because it lends itself to like doing things that normally aren't in your. I got you. You know, you're like, oh, what? what's the big deal? I'm not. This is not me. I'm so and so. I'm in a different place. So we go up. We're walking through the city and like he's buying me stuff. You know, like I see a silly hat with cat ears. I'm broke. And he's like, I'll get that for you. And I'm like, cool, like the first item's cool. And then it's like, oh, I want, you know, this other silly thing. And oh, yeah, sure. Here you go. And I, I didn't like him. Like I, t- as, as the date wore on, I was kind of like, you know, I don't think this is really me. I'm trying this on. This isn't me. And like, I remember the gross feeling when he walked me back to my hotel of like, ooh, but you bought me this stuff. Right. What's the exchange now? Yeah. And I. It's not going to get hard till I'm ready to come. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Yeah, and I I remember I, I wanted to give those items back to him immediately, mm-hmm. and just be like, dude, I'm not like we're not. I can't, and I I'll, nothing happened with this gentleman. <sighs> nothing like that happened. No, nothing, nothing. I swear to God, I swear in our children's eyes, nothing happened. I All was right. not interested in him. But just just that gross feeling of like being a little girl yeah. and having daddy buy you stuff felt so some people really like that gross to me yeah. that 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 the power dynamic is so vast va- vastly off. Did he buy something anything of like substantial value? No, I would no. never do that. No. I would never. It was live. just like little trinkets and like stuff. Bullshit in the street. Yeah, L- like bu- like you know twenty dollars. But when you walk back, was he like? What's up? Or he, I think he was expecting, yes, yeah, some some kind of exchange for for the for the night, mm-hmm. you know. And I was I was like, mm, okay, good night, goodbye. And I, I wanted to run upstairs immediately and just be like, ugh, like mm. you're you're so old. And you got not, that beautiful mouth. 
because at the time like when you're young and an old dude like, yeah and that's not old like you know mid no we're no, in our 40s yeah, yeah, yeah. but to a 20 year old girl it's revolting yeah it's not i think right. what's interesting Ugh. is uh like there's a way that this works and like what you were doing was like you were saying like can i is like, this me is yeah this i'm me? trying this on which, which makes sense what this girl did <laughs> No, no, which which I respect though. What she did was she was like she had like an a item. Goal. She was like, I want this thing. Yes. And so she went to a guy and was like, Will you get me this? And then she probably just implied like, and I'll make it worth it to you. Right. And then the guy weighed and he was like, Yeah, okay, I'll yeah, do that. Yeah. It's worth two grand. Sure. So what you're saying is she's setting goals. She's going after them. She's a go getter. She. I it's believe different. that this girl went to whatever man she approached and was like, I want this back. Yeah. You know, yeah. what can I get? Will you get this bag for me? Yeah. And then, yeah, you know, she's a cool like, girl. She's part of the cool girl club. Oh, she's a hundred percent cool. <laughs> she's the coolest. Yeah. And then this old guy, I wonder what old is to her. It could be. She was like, 40. yeah, he was like 38. And yeah. Like, oh, wow. That is pretty old. Cause remember when oh, you were oh. 20 or 19, I it mean, was, it sounded 40 yes. year old is the, the grossest thing in the world. My, when our five year, almost five year old calls me old man, I laugh so hard. He does it after I torture him. Like I'll grab him and like pin him down and like start like, you know, tickling his neck. And then he'll be like screaming, like, let me go, let me go. And I'll finally let him go. He goes, old man. <laughs> Such a psycho. That's such a crazy aggressive thing to say. I like when he <laughs> he calls you old Maurice. Yeah, old Maurice. That's yeah. my favorite. Yeah. He's such an old Maurice. I'm like, all right, dude. He's so, so Hey, cute. big news in the YMH community as well. Your colonoscopy. Yes. You haven't even gotten into the aftermath. I know. Um it was I was so bummed that post procedure first of all, I didn't realize that I could easily become an addict to anesthesia like i really <laughs> really dig it yeah i'm looking forward to my next procedure <laughs> you're gonna sign up for one you know, every year I, I remembered how good the hernia <laughs> juice was where it was like see you later and hey, then, you didn't seem nervous at all you no, were this like, time oh, i was time like to go. <laughs> and i got in there and they're like okay and by the way the guy looks at my the the anesthesiologist looks at the monitor and he goes your heart rate's 40 and i go yeah it's uh, it's always like that. And then the, the GI goes, oh, you didn't know? You're looking at an uh, athletic specimen here. And I was like, oh, my God. Okay, man. So, oh, yeah. Rude. Yeah. Like, I go, do I get rude. this from every fucking doctor? <laughs> so then I'm on my side. And I was like, hey, you know, I usually I usually sleep with a mouth guard. I just let them, I let you, you let anesthesiologists because they're going to put you down. Mm -hmm. And I go, so, you know, I don't know about the airwave. He's like, oh, good call. Um, they're like, bite onto this. So I bite onto a thing. No, no hesitation. I'm like, mm. and they strap it on. So it keeps your, your, your airway open. Ooh, and that's I go, good to tell them. Dude, this is like 30 seconds and counting. And I go, and they go, so I go, just send me bye bye. Okay. That's what I looked <laughs> up and I told the guy and he goes, what? I go, Bye bye. <laughs> and I put my head down, and then they're like, "Do you feel it?" And my eyes were fluttering. I go, "Does it look like I feel it?" <laughs> and then that was it. Then they were just like, "Hey," and I was like, "It's over." And they're like, "Yeah, everything, everything was good." I'm supposed to get an update today on on biopsies, so maybe you know. Yeah. But he's like, "Everything looked good." Um, he's like, "You got a nice asshole. Feels soft and everything." <laughs> but the worst part was because of COVID, <laughs> you know, so many more restrictions. I come out of it, and this is what I was looking forward to the most, were the farts, right? Yes. Farts. I heard that you get these awesome farts right when you're done. So I'm laying there, and they're like, the lady's like, if you need to pass gas, I was like, here? And she's like, honey, we hear it all the time. Don't mm -hmm. worry. Because it was kind of a group set. I mean, you have, like, privacy. And she's like, just, yeah, just, you're fine. And I go, okay. <laughs> and, God, I wished I had my... Even my phone with me, it was just like, <laughs> like that, you yeah. know, like real yeah. cool farts. Yeah. And it was a sequence of them. <laughs> just as soon as you thought you're done, you're like, oh, is there something else in the chamber? And, um, you know, Fart, yeah. <laughs> I was just farting for a while. But then by the time I got in the car with you to head back, 
the farts were basically no done. farts and yeah. i was so upset because because of covid i wasn't allowed to go up with you mm-hmm. and i was so looking forward to hearing those they were pretty cool farts. now let me ask you one question you said that you were in a, a recovery area with different patients had all of those people had colonoscopies as well that is a good question i'm not entirely <laughs> sure i'm not entirely sure but i think the majority yes because it was a specialized unit for GI stuff. Because I could imagine the embarrassment or the thrill of being in that curtained, you know, next to the, someone who just had a colonoscopy and how funny it would be to be laying there and hear somebody have colonoscopy farts. I think that would be something I'd I was, pay money to experience because that would be pretty funny. I don't know about paying money, but it was it was pretty it was pretty cool. I got to hear a few of your post colonoscopy farts. Um, I've so, never had anything like this. I know you're so. It's not sickness. It's not. It's not. It's, it's not, not the. Rona. I'm not sick. I'm just like, I know what my allergies feel like because I can feel it also in my eyes. You know, my eyes feel irritated and. Might it be where we are located, the wind? Because it was very windy over the weekend. Maybe mm. the wind pushes the dust into your face. I don't want to be like insensitive but i still think it's nadav yeah yeah okay so no not feeling it well right. you browned a lot but also let's catch the audience up on how your browns were you took the the maylox or whatever the fuck it for maylox i don't know what they get now they send you prescription solution <laughs> that's like delivered to the house and they're like, this is going to ma- like be near a toilet. But yeah. the crazy thing is they go, you started at 4 p.m. And then they go and you drink the exact same thing at 7 p.m. So like as your body is, you feel like, oh, it's evacuating everything. They're like, here's sending a second round, the backup team. It was pretty intense. It was pretty intense. So it was a lot of water. That's the thing. It sounded like. Somebody poured a gallon of water into the toilet every Is time. Is it brown water or clear water? <laughs> it's very brown. <laughs> very brown. And did they it gets find... a little more clear as it goes along. <laughs> did they find any items in your colon? For instance, they look and they go, oh, there's a lot of seeds in here. You've been eating a lot of, uh, you know, no. oranges no, and no, watermelons. No. I know, asked sir. them, I go, how was... I was a little nervous because even, even like an hour before I went in... Um, at, at the place, I sat down on the toilet and water still was coming out of me. No this wow. is like right before. And I was like, oh man, I, I followed the instructions to a T. I, did, I fasted completely the you day did. before. Thank God I read, I read the details on what I was allowed to drink. Cause I was, uh, I bought juices and Gator. Cause he's like, you can have juice and Gatorade and water the day before. I was like, okay. And I bought a bunch. And then on the instructions, right before I was about to start drinking Gatorade, it's like, only drink lime Gatorade. What? Because if you drink red or or purple, it could read as blood to us during the, the colonoscopy. Oh, that would be bad. And they're like, then they'll be like, Are you, you're bleeding in your bowels. <laughs> so, so right before, I was like, oh man, because I, I actually bought a few different, I was yeah. like, thank God I read this right. Yeah. But anyways, I, I, I started... Um, yeah, I started just, I mean, I was going through, because I was losing so much fluid. But right before, so I told the nurse, I was like, the thing is, I just went downstairs and, you know, I still had stuff coming out. But I was telling her that I, I didn't cheat. Like, I, I followed the instructions. She gets, okay. I go, I, I think there will still be stuff, though. And she goes, oh, he uses, like, a suction tube. And he'll suck up all the fluid. Um, that happens totally fine. I was like, you're going to just suck up all the fluid in my asshole? And she was like, yeah. There'll be nothing there. That is crazy. And mm-hmm. when you were done, did you feel lighter? Did you feel different? Here's the thing. I, I went an extra long period uh, without eating or drinking because norm- they, initially I was going to have whatever. Initially you do the, the fast and you try to go first thing in the morning, but there wasn't availability. Mm-hmm. So I ended up going... How long did I go? I went you, you 36 didn't... hours oh my God. for a fast, which is pretty, you it's know, if you're not used to it, you go like, Jesus, even though I did, I think I told you, I felt like, um, I felt like mental clarity and I, I felt thankful that I don't have to fast all the time, Yeah, you know, which I think is good. 
Yeah, I did too. I, I remember you saying that. You're like, I'm just so thankful that I can eat whenever I... Yeah, yeah. I actually so thought sweet. about that. Yeah. Uh, that like I, I don't have to fast. Thank goodness. Except for this procedure. But anyways... you like, um, thank God I'm not Muslim. Ramadan. They do that for like a long, long time. Hours. They fast from sun up till sundown. You get to eat that meal iftar when you break your fast at night. It's terrible. It's very hot too. I'm serious. That's terrible. I always feel when I was in the Middle East <laughs> during Ramadan, yeah. I felt really bad for them because <laughs> no liquid and it's yeah. the desert and it's summer. It's like 120 it's degrees. That's good. Well, Bert, the thing is, is that there's different cultures and they do things differently around the I world. I know, but I'm, I, it's terrible. Okay. It would be hard. I couldn't do it. Check this uh, out. You got to spit on the floor. You need some help? Yeah, I just told you. I mean, it, I'm not going to get you a Dr. Pepper. Okay. Well, then don't ask if I if you can help me if you're not going to help me. I mean, that's if you're not going to be genuine. Then don't don't talk to me at all. I don't do slave work. Sorry, I'm not going to go get you a Dr. Pepper. Okay. Well, you're a public servant. I thought it might be reasonable to ask. I mean, you <laughs> you're the one who asked me if you could help me though. Yeah, I did. Okay. And if, if you don't want to help me, then don't ask. That's fine. If you're listening, <laughs> this is a man telling a police officer, an officer of the law. Can you go get me a Dr. Pepper? Because <laughs> he's like, well, that's what I understood when you said, can I help you? Well, is I'm there not something I can do for you as a police yeah. officer, not as a... Yeah. Um, is there a gas station down the road? Here, yeah. I'll, give you, I'll, give you, I'll give you a little extra. You can get yourself a drink, too. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab yourself a drink, too. You like, you like Dr. Pepper? Yeah, but I don't need them. I'm too fat as it is. Look at me. Okay. Aww. No, don't be trying to give me money on that. I'm okay. not going to go pick you up a Dr. Pepper. Okay. <laughs> I mean, this guy is such an asshole. <laughs> the the guy asking. Because uh, I feel like that cop is actually extra nice. I mean, he you made could, a you joke. Could, you could get so... You get the wrong cop and ask that to and have your oh, fucking yeah. day, maybe your life ruined. Yes. Um, like maybe life over. But yeah, there is a point also where he definitely considers. He was like, for real? <laughs> He's, he looked down. He was yeah, like, he was like, and then he goes, nah, I'm too fat already. Like he, he had yeah. reasoned through, which was great. But he also was like, you're going to buy me something? That's cool. That is kind of cool. he thought about that. It was almost like the girl getting fucked <laughs> by the old guy for a purse. It kind of all comes well, together. Well, Tom, everybody likes the free stuff. Yeah. Everybody likes free. Could you imagine, though, being a cop and you're just like trying to do the right thing? He was trying to be nice. He's like, then, Can I help you with something? He's like, yeah, yeah, go pick me up with something to drink. And then this jackass. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, Super. I don't know how they deal with this stuff, man. You see this shit? <laughs> oh! Well, I mean, the human nunchuck. How is that happening? I don't know. Where'd That's you find that? Cool. <laughs> uh, Instagram, it was sent in, and like, yeah, I can't tell if this guy's just double jointed or. Mm -hmm. Or never had his arm set after he broke it mm -hmm. severely. There's a whole, you know, it could go either way with it. Doesn't seem to cause him pain, so he's been like this for a while. See, this bothers right. me more than the <gasps> guy Shut getting the fuck. sucked into Shut the, the fuck up. No. How? What part about this? It's just, is it? They both have spinning stuff, and you're like, I prefer the spinning stuff if someone dies. <laughs> no, I don't prefer that someone dies. I'm just saying this is harder to watch. Why? Because the other I one's don't. funnier. The other one's dead. How is it funnier? Because it's like comical. It looks like a cartoon. Like, woo, 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 woo. like you know, it's not. Yeah, but the other person died, and that's blood's not funny. everywhere. That's not so funny. So what part is funny? Because the, the whole visual, entire video is the guy dying. The visual <laughs> of it is so, like, exaggerated. It's so uh, over the top. It's so far removed from something you normally see. It, it actually looks like a cartoon. And, and this one doesn't look like a cartoon? Well, here's the thing. That you have the, the security cam footage is not as clear. There's a little more distance. It's not high def. Mm -hmm. This is like... See, I don't. I like being kind of removed from whatever something bad thing is happening. It's like th there needs to be a lack of clarity to be able to enjoy it. Yeah, to you enjoy know? it. He yeah. says. Yeah. Enjoy. I think I think I'm being reasonable. I think you guys are both being jerks. Okay. Okay. I think you're being real well, jerks. You're on your Benadryl right now. I'm not gonna yeah. argue with you. You're getting all hopped up <laughs> for your sexual plan. <laughs> before you take your before your partner, or you masturbate. <laughs> you want to get extra horny. Yeah, I think you guys are both being unreasonable. I feel like doing this does. to Nadav right now. There's, there I am behind. Oh. <gasps> oh. 
Did you see his arrogance? He's like, yep, there you go. I felt good. Who, She's like, where, oh. where is this? <laughs> uh, I think it's somewhere in Latin America. That is not how to do that adjustment. <laughs> right, because now you know how to do it. I could definitely do better than so that. So where did he go wrong? <laughs> um, I think it's the part where he almost snapped her fucking <laughs> spine Let me in see half. it again. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, you definitely shit. don't adjust <laughs> like that. Oh my like, God. I got you. Yeah, That's how not how you do it. That's not... <gasps> He did the old, I'm going to hurt you in a new way so you forgot how your old pain feels. That's, that's an old trick we learn in chiropractic school. I, the spine isn't supposed I to mean, go like that. That definitely hurt her. I mean, he may not have hurt her permanently, but he hurt her right Wait, there. I love how he thinks he did a good job, though. He's, He's like, like, got yeah, you. You're done. Give her a little pat on the back. Yeah, that's like, how it is. That's how it I goes. Know. Just working my magic. Sometimes, you know, a needle, you ever get a needle, you get a shot, and you're like, Ugh, it hurts for a second, but all the good stuff comes after. So that dude's real. Wow. Funny. Yeah. Nadav, we're going to send you to this guy next. No. To get an adjustment. No, no, that no. That would be hilarious. You better choose me over this guy. Do, look, I choose you more over this. I mean, you're not. I mean, that was a weird pop. I've never heard a pop like that when I've been adjusted. Yeah, oh that's yeah, that's. I think he had a disc slip in her back that he just did. But well, I mean, okay, the, between the, the fact that you know that that's not how it's supposed to go, I already feel more comfortable. See, mm -hmm. so what's the order between me adjusting you, this guy adjusting you, and, then and my he, normal no factor? Uh, you going into the machine that spins the guy around <laughs> and throws him. That guy didn't live. Which do uh, I prefer? Yeah. Which which order would you put it in? Okay, uh, death is last. <laughs> death is last, and then I think the uh, this guy is second, second to, last. to last, and uh, and you're third from last. I'm first. That's a one way to put it. I'm third from last. I'm I'm your primary adjuster. <laughs> This is horrible. Can chiropractors chime in on this, please? Uh, yeah, if, if you work is... in a chiropractic office, please let us know. Let us know about this man's technique. I mean, this could not like, be good. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never been to a chiropractor yeah. that pulls your neck up and back. No, he and... almost fucking broke her back. Yeah, that's really crazy. She's actually lucky that I think that he's not like very strong. Oh my god! Because gosh. If, if you'd done that with great force. Forget it, man. I just can't believe how pleased he is with himself. Yeah, like, he's I, like, this is I, how it's done. This is the God. this is the gig. Yeah. That's what I signed up for. <laughs> um, we saw this video that is very funny of somebody commenting on Giuliani during a press conference. <laughs> I guess he had he's in the wings. He's done talking, and uh, one of the other lawyers is talking. And this, this is a play by play that's pretty funny. Yo, watch my man's over here. <laughs> Yo. Takes out the handkerchief. Blows his nose. Blows his nose. Takes it booger side in. Smears his hands all over it. Oh. Wipes it into his lips. All over his face! Son, he's wiping snot all over his face. Smearing his he hands into it. He did do that it. all wrong. Looks like shit, bro. <laughs> He did it all wrong. I know. He did the side I that know. he blew into, he kept out oh, instead of folding it over. And then he did wipe his mouth and his whole face oh, with it. Oh god. Okay, well let's okay, let's think this through. Maybe there was no snot in it. Like maybe he just did a wipe. Oh, I got you. There was you. no boogies. What is up with Giuliani lately? And then the hair dye meme that was passed around. The hair dye was real crazy. That was wild. The hair He's dye just was not on his game. Real real crazy. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Um, he is out of it. I think it's the age, maybe. Oh yeah. By the way, about the uh, colonoscopy, mm. we call my dad on the way home, and I go, <laughs> he goes, "How'd it go?" And I said, "It's great." And he goes, "Yeah, you know, anything to tell you anything?" I said, "No, not yet. Everything looks all right." <laughs> so they might. They told me that um, I won't have my my first bowel movement probably for a couple of days. He goes, "No, nah, that's not true." <laughs> and I go, "Well, these people do these all day." And he goes, "Tommy." I bet you're going to go tomorrow. <laughs> and I go, he goes, maybe sooner. I go, dad, they, no they just told me this. And he goes, look, look, if there's one thing I know about, it's taking a shit. He did say that. I go, I believe you. And then he, um, he was right. He was right. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And I, I'll tell you another thing though. I didn't tell you this. Those know how to shit. 
Um, then I feel like like everything was I felt like back. But do you ever have a day where you feel like you're shitting just so much? Not messy browns. No. Normal. I had a day like that. I think it was yesterday or the day before where it was just volume mm -hmm. but healthy yeah it like happens brown, it happens brown. to me when i when i f like fast a little bit well, that's if what i, I did, skip a meal right? i yeah. skipped and then i went back to normal and then it was just fucking on yeah but it's pleasurable right because you're like oh it my god great. there's so much there so wait a minute you mean to tell me that you ate enough to replenish what was in your intestines in like 24 hours basically you created enough well caca. here's the truth it wasn't now what the when i went early it wasn't a normal it was just like slop but it was like <laughs> somebody turning the machine back on you know what i mean wow yeah <laughs> slop. yeah i can't wait to hear the results of this whole thing oh my god we um we we were speaking of dad stuff we were watching the hunt for red october yes and we <laughs> realized something <laughs> that is totally true and that is dad's jack off to the hunt for red october <laughs> Love and it. all tom clancy books and <laughs> movies what is it about a dad i don't and know talk to your dad and be like hey dad <laughs> did you watch the hunt for red october and watch how your dad goes oh yeah and then be like did you jack off to it and he'll be like what and then <laughs> later on he'll probably be like yeah i did i did <laughs> Well, I, and I would argue that just like any Cold War stuff, yes. World War II. Can II, I tell you my theory on this? They love this war my stuff. Theory. What? It's 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 two twofold. Okay, one is that they grew up in an era where this was the dominant environmental reality. Like the the world you lived in was dominated by this uh, this adversarial relationship with you know, the another East country. and another country. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and also war, like anyone who's a boomer, like you have, if your dad's like between 60 and 80, like in that, in that age gap, he either was born at the end of, or towards the end of world war two, or just after that, or during the Korean war, mm -hmm. like born. So like you're in like these major, major wars, then was definitely alive, present or involved in the Vietnam war. Yes which was like the last of like the, you know, even though we've had Desert Storm and Afghanistan and all stuff, the, the Vietnam War is different like in the way that it was, we, the, in the way we were engaged in it and the way that it affected the world, right? So they, they, it's also just like part of their DNA. Right, the and, they, and, and those young men were drafted too. Uh, you forget that you, Some. Yeah, you, you had a, a neighbor who would get sent off right. to war, whereas we stopped Some drafting. were drafted. Right, Some your dad. Sign up, like my dad. <laughs> they were like, I'll go. So that's And you late know. in life, no? Did he didn't he, wasn't no. he a bit older? No, no. Oh, no, okay. No. I thought he was like twenty eight. No, he maybe. just that's like what guys like that did though. Like his brother too. They were just like, Oh, they're, yeah, I'll go. It's wild. Yeah. So um so there's that, right? Like there's that it's part of the environment. And then it's that these types of movies, mm -hmm. essentially, they're intellectual action movies. See, yeah. men love, we love action movies. There's, there's remove your brain from thinking action. That's like Die Hard, Rambo. Totes. You know, that, so Seagal you're just stuff. like, just, yeah, exactly. Seagal, Van Damme, most Schwarzenegger, like it's all just like explosion, explosion, fight, fight, shoot, shoot. But the, the story is real basic. It's always like, you know, wife's in trouble uh yeah. my kid I, my kid's in protection. trouble protection you must yeah protect. it's just like yeah, protect so your true. family if you get into yeah. a geopolitical storyline with espionage and you know that it's chess moves and deception it, it it's an intellectually stimulating but it still has the payoff of the action because that yes. that movie still has like shooting torpedoes explosions blah blah, blah. but it's under this storyline of defection and the you know the the, the soviets and, and the u.s and it gives you this sense that you're act you feel more sophisticated watching the movie yes like you're basically uh, get to feel like oh i'm i'm watching a smart you're smart action movie. It, it's like your sex in the city 
It it's is. what women we like uh the storylines between big and aiden mm -hmm. and what is she wearing and the shoes and then you guys are like let's fucking blow up these russians and the submarine but also the hunt for red october listen here ruski yeah we believe in freedom yeah 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 okay there's that that that, that good stuff of america yeah we're fighting for democracy we're fighting the reds yeah that's true and and shoot them ups and big Mm -hmm. big crafts yeah so but dads man clear, dads like to talk clear about and it present too. danger yeah, yeah yeah um there's all these tom clancy and then oh by the way i gotta tell you this sometimes you know with all these streaming i feel like i'm somebody who gets very lost into just the netflix world mm -hmm. so like i'm saying when i turn on my streaming thing i'll go to netflix and i can forget <laughs> that there's the other plot because there there's so many now and they're, yeah, and they're yeah, so competitive yeah. And yeah, I did get into like Handmaid's Tale for a while and, um, you know, I've seen The Mandalorian on Disney, and, you know, but you'll forget. And I, by chance, because of that, I was like, you know, I never checked out Jack Ryan, which is the, the, the yes. character, the Tom Clancy character on Amazon. I fucking have ripped through this season. That is not only a like a really, really good show, but holy shit, did they spend real money making this? I mean... I don't know if it's public. I know it's public. They pay Krasinski like two million an episode. I feel like they spent a hundred million dollars making this season. It's really like it's impressive production. Yeah, it looks amazing. Really good. Every episode is like a is like a. What's feature. the other one? The Timothy Treadwell Treadstone. Oh you yeah. Watch Tread Tread. That that's a little that's different. I mean that's it's good. It's it's different though. But this Jack Ryan thing was great. If yeah. I didn't fall asleep so much. So uh, yeah. So they I are doing a season that. three. What does it say there? If you click on that link. It's really good. So I bet that. Uh, I mean that's probably a COVID delay, right? That's got to be. And this is a smart one too. You feel like it's uh, the, sa it's the same a, character. It's a dad genre. Yeah, it's the same character. Which reminds me too. What's it say? In the article. Um, yeah, it says delayed. Yeah, it's got to be COVID. Come out 2021. Yeah. It's so good. This one's great. I love John Chris. No, but I'll tell you this. If you are if you like that sort of thing and you haven't gone on Prime to watch this, it's it's really good. They, yeah, like, it's he, a great he does story. A, he's great in the part and... It's a, it's a, it's really good characters, right? In the, like I said, the production, they, there's things like when you watch TV shows and there's, there's like, you know, the shootout scene or the chase or the explosion, there's the TV version of it where you're like, oh yeah, that's what that is. But in your, your brain tells you this is basically the version they could make with their budget. And then you watch a feature and you're like, well, holy shit, yeah. you know, this thing doesn't, they don't go short on yeah, it's any, a, every on episode's anything. a fucking movie it's really really good um you know what i was thinking of too i don't did your dad ever have um dad toilet books that were war oriented like my dad had the house on garibaldi street hold on in the shitter and like a 500 page book about the holocaust like the third reich it would be like he loved to read about Communism, KGB, CIA. Yeah, same shit. Holocaust. Same thing. Right? Same thing, yeah. Your dad had the toilet books? Like also. Like toilet books? It's also a thing now <laughs> where like you walk, you see my, I, I used to visit the house more when I was younger. You know, you like every holiday you go to, and there's a certain point where you're walking in the living room and you're like, don't you feel like you understand Hitler now? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I think we all we, get do, it. Have you seen enough Hitler stuff? <laughs> they love and it. he's like. No. No. This, Dad's this battle love Hitler. And, and then and then they revisit like this is the battle where <laughs> when and you're like, but I mean, you know all this. And he's like, Yeah, I like it. And then he just they fucking love their Hitler. I sits know. Sits there and this is when the Germans came into <laughs> Paris. The Parisians didn't put up any fight. And you're like, Okay. <laughs> Yeah. All right, my well, we're going to have dinner too. soon. I don't know if you want to. Yeah. You know, my dad loved to point out. He's like, you know, by the way, that this Hitler's nothing. Okay. Stalin killed more oh, people bit, yeah. than Hitler did. Yeah. He loves to point people out. People love to bring out the body count. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've heard that from dads <laughs> a lot. Dads They're love like, to talk about yeah, that. I don't know why you guys always bring up Hitler. Yeah. What, Stalin's the real star. No one talks and about Stalin's Stalin. Like, Hello. <laughs> 
I killed people too. I killed 20 million. No one's even giving me any credit. That's true. And I is it I don't know why we don't talk as much. I guess cuz it's it's not as horrific or maybe we don't have as many images. Oh, I, I think it's probably it's, it's, just it's, as, it's as horrific. Yeah. Maybe the mechanized death camp stuff. Yeah. I, don't know. I think well, the look, targeted I the targeted murder when you're like, yeah, but like what do you believe in? Oh, no, let's kill you. That's, that's true. That's probably it. The Jews, the gypsies, the mentally retarded were killed in the Holocaust. Yep, there's the full list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, History 101 with Christina P. My my dad always talk about it. Yeah, no. Oh, uh, my house, by the it. way, it is God. all, it's all <laughs> World War II books, uh, Vietnam. He likes World War II, Vietnam. Those are the... I like it too, though. He's I doing do a like fucking, he's like putting together a PowerPoint thing for Vietnam. <laughs> That's, that is cool, though. That he's going to present. Nice. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I... But oh. every time I hang out with your dad, I love hearing these stories. Oh I love God. learning about it. You ask him anything. I mean, he will tell you so much. And then, like, every year now, you know, I did it, like, a bit on stage, <laughs> but, like, it really does grow every time I talk to him about... What happened? About getting something, yeah. Yeah. About the thrill... <laughs> Of getting the enemy, yeah. But tell me we did the right thing, okay? We could have mowed down villagers and stuff. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we didn't do that. We did the right thing. I, how he did the right, like he meant they yeah. targeted just the Viet Cong and not, yeah. not they try not to kill the innocent people. Oh, yeah, no, they, that's a big thing. I yes, mean, oh, and yeah. That's, that's like, you know, that's a big thing where they go, you know, the rules of engagement and, mm -hmm. and you know, I think he said something about like, rice hoppers you could shoot or something but i don't know I we'll have to get him on the phone sometime uh, <laughs> he's got a lot of stories he's got a lot but yeah dads love dads that shit, i man. think it, and i think too because dads want to relive the trauma of that event like it's so traumatic war in that whole time like my mm -hmm. dad will always tell me stories about being 10 years old during the revolution and the russians came through and this is where i saw a soldier dead. This is where I picked up a grenade. I was 10 years old. I played with a grenade. This is where we picked up machine guns and the snow. And like, they just love to tell you this because it's so, I think it's so traumatic. It's traumatic. Them. It is traumatic. Yeah. Of course it is. They let, they love to relive the, the drama. What about you? Israeli dad talk about war a lot. Um, I remember one time, like not my parents, but I think, uh, on my dad's side, like, uh, we went to go visit family and they were like, oh yeah, I'm just going to leave you here for a little bit. And then after we had dinner, she was, uh, my, my great aunt was like, Hey, do you want to see a documentary? <sighs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> and she put on a Holocaust documentary <sighs> of the camp that she was in. Oh <gasps> my God. Oh, and God. she's pointing out people that she recognized. <gasps> And like this one was nice, this one wasn't nice. Like it was like really fucking crazy. That's really crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jesus. So yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know, my grandmother, I got to ask her questions about stuff when I was a teenager, and I was like, So did you know that the Holocaust was going on? Did you know that they, they were killing Jews in these camps? And first of all, she was born in Germany and then they fled whatever they fled from germany to hungary during the war and she goes she's like yeah of course everybody knew we just kind of uh you know he just doesn't say nothing and you're like <laughs> i remember that day we were making lemonade my grandmother and i were making lemonade and i was like so wait you guys knew and she's like yes but we, you know you could smell it in the air the smell of people burning and what could we do? What could we do? You just, you know. I mean, yeah. You're like, well, you certainly wild. couldn't be like, I'd like to have a word with whoever's in charge. Who's here. in charge? Yeah, like a, a group of Karens are gonna go and yeah. deal with the Holocaust. Are you guys uh, being uh, causing a ruckus in the within these walls? I don't think it's gonna. <laughs> I know, yeah. but uh, yeah, interesting. It feels kind of flippant though to be like, well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? That's kind of what she was like yeah. at the time because she'd she'd seen everything. I mean, I I, mean, I get like, it that somebody goes like, if people are eh. murdering people, you you know. But you can't be like, well, we have a petition going to stop it. <laughs> but like, it's just weird to someone to say. 
it is where she was like yeah we knew but you know hmm, what could we do i think because also back then they were so harsh like you guys are you know back in the day yeah it's a harder culture they'd already been through world war one now this is world war two well, you they know what the like, funny thing is that's not the fuck most fucked up thing you told me about your grandmother it's by <laughs> far by far her bathing suit tactic. yeah that's the most fucked up thing yeah so she used to Ugh. my father wouldn't buy air an air conditioner in the house instead he would buy us here a, in los here angeles here in la we grew up in the san fernando valley it was hot as balls he would get the swamp cooler a swamp cooler which is terrible because all it did essentially was make the carpet damp it was yeah. garbage yeah so my grandmother used to wear a onesie bathing suit get in the pool uh -huh. And then she would sit around in a wet bathing suit to stay cool in our ta uh, and she'd be sitting at the kitchen Is table the worst? and she would go, look, I am cool. You are all hot. I am cool. I'm wearing the wet bathing suit. So the wet bathing suit was her tactic to stay cool <laughs> and get a yeast That's infection. Gnarly. Can you imagine? Yeah. And she knocked her tooth out one time when she was visiting us from Hungary and she crazy glued it back in. And she's fine. It works. It's fine. <laughs> you Americans are soft, man. That's all I'm going to say. Pussies. Well, Pussies. Americans, this is, this is America, okay? Did you know that your car may have remote start on it, operated through the key fob, and you didn't even know it? For example, let me show you on this Camry. So here's your Toyota life hack. So here's the trick. Camry. XSE V6. Watch this. You hit lock, lock, and then hold down lock. Watch it start flashing. Watch it, baby. Woo! Yes! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! -hoo -hoo! I like that he's excited about it. For a that. remote startup? That was pretty cool. It was pretty exciting. Yeah, it's been around. <laughs> been around for a minute. I didn't know you could do that. Did you know? Yeah. That you hit it three times and it does that? Well, I didn't know that that's on the Camry EVC model, but I, I mean, there's a number of <laughs> startup fobs. <laughs> you know, woo! Cars. Yeah. Woo! We've owned some. <laughs> I know. I never used Let's that Let's up feature. the game a little oh, bit. How about another model? 2019, <laughs> all new RAV4. Can the RAV4 Limited. do it too? Let's check it out. One. Lock. Two, lock. hold it down. Three. Hold down lock. Don't tell me this is going to work on this Come one, on, too. Baby. Come on, baby. Oh, it's lighting up. It's lighting up. It's lighting up. It's like the 4th of July. Yes. Oh. Worked on that yes. one, too. I am the man. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm the man. Oh, yeah. No, it's embarrassing, uh -huh. the dances. Well, of course it is. The old dances are... And also, this guy definitely loves the hunt for Red October. <laughs> Like, there's not a chance in this world that this guy does not enjoy Tom <gasps> He's Clancy. Defecting. Now the real question, the real uh -uh. question, because it directly affects me, will this system work on a 2018 Camry? Uh -uh. I don't know. That's yours. That's uh -uh. important to know. So. Let's see. Uh, we got that. We got lock, one, two, two three, hold down the third lock, time. Down. Are the lights is it, flashing? Is it going to work? Oh, they're oh, starting to flash. Boy. They're not starting to flash. Right Yeah, he's a Come little too excited. It works. <laughs> I'm the king of the world. His references are so old. Woo! How could you like? How could he do? How could you be that impressed by by it's still happening? Yeah, I don't Wouldn't know. Wouldn't it be like one time, and then you'd be like, "Oh yeah, that that works." But I don't even think I'd get that excited over did, the first time. He did a golf swing to celebrate. Yeah. Then a baseball swing. Then he threw a ball, and then he caught the ball. Well, and he did a Titanic, I'm King of the World, which is 90-something. This is It's embarrassing. Somebody's perhaps married to this guy. Just be happy that you're fucking not. No. I would never do this shit. Oh, my gosh. Never. Never. You don't get that excited. What did you get Fuck excited no. about the other day that I was really happy? No. Oh. You got excited for something, and I was like, oh, this is good to see you happy like that. I don't know. I don't know. We'll talk about the Holocaust. We found another. Um, remember the plastic chair guy? There was a guy who <laughs> was so excited <laughs> about right, chairs. Let's go to Brian. Look at his chair. So, yeah. so right. well, we got Pro Guard Malus. We got my white chocolate. This dude collects plastic chairs. <laughs> chairs that great. you. The kind of chair that when you do sit in, you're like, God damn, I wish they had better chairs here. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it's the worst. He's like, these are my favorite chairs. <laughs> um, there's an update. Oh, wow. Hello, here's the current <gasps> state of my plastic chair collection. Oh, I have wow. about 400 items oh, I like total those in the down front. here. I have bistro chairs. Those I are have good. school chairs. Yeah. I have some rattan cantilever legged kitchen chairs. I have kid sized chairs. So far, all the I chairs have suck. You cannot buy anymore. <laughs> Various kids' chairs. Speak for yourself. I'm a fan of the. the little tykes model. Oh, I like the little I have tykes. the rare step two kid size folding chair. The rare I have size some very chair. large chairs. Is it weird little though? Tykes swivel chair. <laughs> Do you, you think it's weird to have a collection that no one else is excited about? <laughs> Like nobody yeah. else sees this and is like, you have that? Everybody's like, why the fuck do you have all this? Bro, you have the rare step two brown children's chair? Well, step two products. So well as the Fisher Price chair. Oh, By the wow. way, this looks like a home. It looks like he was like, well, we're going to have to get rid of the living room. Where am I going to put all my chairs? Where am I going to put all my chairs? 1984. Those ones are vintage. They haven't Whoa. been made in many, vintage. many years. Yeah, I have a lot of various monoblock chairs. And I mean, I would feel more comfortable if somebody was like, here's all my um, fleshlights. Uh, here's 6,000 flesh. I'd be like, that's more. You got your shit together more than the chair guy. This guy is so fucking Well, unstable. you think about the amount of money he's spending to store all this stuff. Yeah. I, I mean, mean it, the whole house is full. That looks like a, a whole floor. Of and it a could house. be that there's, we, we could it's be leaving bananas. this room. This video is not over. My clothes. You might. I have this kid size chair with the tubular stuff. It's filthy, oh, too. It's, it's filthy. Some of these are dirty. That's Why a, is he whispering? I don't know. I also have my girl Flex Malegos. I just want anybody to. to my, girl. my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, me too. As well as a girl Flex Madre's lounge chair. I have the U.S. Leisure Woven Wild. This is crazy. His, this is such a big flex in his world where he's like, check it out the chairs. Like, <laughs> he's whispering like you it's a Rolex. He's that like, that you guys know you have I mean, we're still going through chairs. I'm just skimming through this. This is crazy. I mean, it's just... And it, by the way, 90% of these look like the exact chair next to it you know he's he knows the difference is he oh, there's still three more out there that i don't have i have oh. rubber made chairs <laughs> there are the adult ones are on the bottom those are the kids size ones. ones is he hoping to sell these is that well the... that about covers the chair collection well thanks for watching please subscribe and remember to always be comfortable <laughs> that's a good tagline at least and remember always be comfortable remember always be comfortable and remember can i take a pitch real quick sure go ahead whether you're camping in the woods or at a backyard get-together, there is nothing like a roaring fire to bring you back to what matters. Gene, is there any better memory of sitting around a fire and telling stories? On or a cool night with s'mores? a warm drink. Yeah, it's the absolute best. It's what, it's what it means to be a human being, it is does. sitting around a fire with your loved ones. I love Solo Stove for this reason. Solo Stove that gets delivered to your door. It's just in a box about what? Yay big. You take it out. You set it up. Boom. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. You got yep. a fire in your backyard. You can take it uh, camping. Take it with you anywhere. It's so easy to start the fire. Uh, the cleanup is minimal. You just have a little bit of ash. And there's not a lot of smoke. I mean, that's one thing that's kind of a bummer about traditional fires is you've, you're sitting. You're always a person sitting with the smoke, not with Solo Stove. It is so great. No one needs a reason to gather around the fire. Solo Stove just took away any reason not to. And now you can get $10 off when you use promo code MOM at checkout. Just go to solostove.com. And remember, you get $10 off when you use our promo code MOM. This episode of Your Mama's House is brought to you by Stamps.com. This holiday season, more people will be mailing stuff than ever before. That is true. That means the post office is going to be busy. You don't have time for that. Stamps.com brings the post office and now UPS shipping right to your computer. Mail and ship anything from the convenience of your home or office. With Stamps.com, anything you can do at the post office, you can do with just a few clicks. Plus, Stamps.com saves you money with deep discounts that you can't even get at the post office. Stamps.com brings the services of the U.S. Postal Service and UPS right to your computer. You do not have time for the busy chaos that will be out there. Do it with Stamps.com. Don't spend a minute of your holiday season at the post office this year. Sign up for Stamps.com instead. There's no risk. With our promo code MOM, 
You get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in MOM. That's Stamps.com. Enter MOM. Stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. Guys, thank God 2020 is coming to an end. As we start thinking about healthier resolutions for the new year, WHOOP is great for measuring, tracking, quantifying behavioral changes. You guys know I'm no I'm no joke with this thing, man. This thing never leaves my side. I wear this on my arm when I sleep, when I work out, when I visit my dominatrix. I always have my WHOOP on. So what about you? Do you want to join the team? Do you want to study the actual data of how your behaviors affect how you feel, how you perform, how you rest? I'm so obsessed with it. It is one of the best fitness trackers and memberships I have ever seen for just $30 a month. You get personalized insights 24 seven for our listeners today. If you're thinking about giving whoop a shot, this is their best deal to try it out and see if it's for you. Get your first month of whoop for free. When you sign up for their six month membership, head over to whoop W H O O P.com slash house to get started for $0. All right, and you peed, and when you're done peeing, do you feel like... Live Life 365. Did you feel like that? <laughs> I live Life 365. Yeah. That's what I do. I live Life 365. Live Life 365. That's what I say every time I every J time. my D. Live Life 365. <laughs> you know, I have good. to just quickly discuss that your post-vasectomy is wonderful. Yeah. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's revitalized our love life. Pretty good. And also, I tried out Leanne's beige technique on you. Sending her a gift this week. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys want to hear that, it's on where my mom's at. Leanne came on last time and discussed her winning beach technique that she does on Bert. Mm -hmm. And I tried it on Tom. And now you guys are like beach brothers. Is that what, is uh, that what it'd be called? That's not, nobody mentioned that. Like beach technique, bros. I guess. Are you going to talk about it with Bert? Sure. Be like, oh, now I know what you get. I don't know that I, I mean, uh. whatever. You were such a slut. Um, <laughs> All right, let's do some talks, man. Well, board just crashed. I heard you bitches was looking for me. Bitch, here I go. So there's there are some updates, big <laughs> updates. We can start by letting you know. Good morning, my queen above eighteen. Oh. Yes, yeah, it's time to wake up. Come on. Yes, you are my queen. Oh, my God. What? Uh -huh. How did you sleep? I slept good. Did you sleep good? I hope you're rested and be ready for work. All right, my queen, it's time to get up and you have a good day and call me when you can. I love you, my queen. You have a beautiful day. Jesus Christ. Man. Well, that's a um, very creative talk. I've been thinking about this one. The POV. For days. I saw this a while ago, and like I think about it at least once a day. It's the POV shot of him Hovering over, you, over you, shirtless. And then the conversation's terrible. It's he, like, he, he, By the way, he did act. He, he waited Th for, like, he was like, what's that? Yeah. Well, how'd you sleep? I slept good. Right. Like what, he, he did a whole like. Right. So it's that's it what's, was real improv. That's what's layer two of the creepiness is that uh, that part is the the play acting and then that. I mean, look the whole thing about the ki about the king. Like we get it. You're just he's just trying to get laid, and that's a noble yeah thing. But the thing is, guys. There has to be artifice. Like you, you have to have, that's why men pick up guitars and play in bands to attract the girls. You know, you can't just be like, Hey, are you over 18? Show me your tits. There has well, to you, be. You, you can. You can. <laughs> and then you'll get. You can and, and you mocked do. mercilessly on our yeah, show yeah. for it, but. But you're right. Usually there's, you know, you like to be a little layer to it, right? Like just a little, some, yeah, just some kind of, put on a show. Yeah, you, know? you put on the show and then you're like, why'd the girl, why's, why's the, you know, why'd the girl ask to meet me? It's like, 
Because you did the thing. You didn't yeah. just go nice tits. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you showed her something. Well, it's why men have built civilizations and become proficient in many different things to entice the woman. Competency is very uh, attractive. Dr. Drew and I have talked about this yes. on Dr. Dr. Dark, that women are attracted to skills. And that's what this lacks, I think. That, and I think that's why the king is so but intriguing. But to be fair. Sure. It's. It's still very appealing to some. <laughs> so by all means, don't stop doing this. Don't you dare stop doing this. This is still good. Yeah, of course it's still good, Tom. And, and you understand that a lot of women find this attractive. A lot of women, so many women. You're in a relationship, I've heard. But other women I've heard. who are maybe single and available are like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm mopping up my bed right now. <laughs> Well, especially because, you know, what I like is that he does provide a surrogate boyfriend experience to all his sure. queens. He's like, how was your midterm? You're going to do fine. Well, let's, you know, let's keep going here and let's see if, if we find any more. Let's see if we get to revisit <laughs> the king here in a moment. Okay, let's go through else, what else some other talks. Brown Vic lighter. Bought it today. Peeled off the sticker. This is like the, the other guy was very yes. upset about. Wow, this is a whole lane of talks. <laughs> buying well, <laughs> buying a Bic that misrepresented itself? That's correct, Tom. Um, it's much like the consumer advocacy show Fight Back with David Can Horowitz. I tell you this something? This is just like that. That's really interesting. There's a certain type of guy <laughs> that is figuring out that he's not happy about the Bic he bought. Most people <laughs> just let it go. Just let they it just go. go. Yeah, yeah, you know. The factory. This is a wrap just, on this thing. Yeah. But there's certain guys that go, uh uh. You're not going to take advantage of me. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. You're not fucking me over, man. That's very cool. And you got it. He's like, look what I found. Yeah. yeah. He's very, he's like, very uh, proud of himself. <laughs> Skylar, okay. you've been on hormones for five years. How are you about to have a baby? Well, that's simple. I'm stopping testosterone. And actually, I already have. I've been off testosterone for several months now. Um, that's how I'm going to have a baby. But also the misconception is that folks who use testosterone can't get pregnant. That's very incorrect. Testosterone is not a birth control. You can still get pregnant while on testosterone. So what I've done is I've been off of it for several months so that I can have a healthy menses cycle and ovulation so that I can have the best pregnancy possible. So now that that has returned and I battle my dysphoria every month with it, I'm happy to say that I'm ready to start trying to have a baby. And that's a whole nother part. But the fact is, is I got here because I stopped taking testosterone because my body is getting ready without that hormone. Okay, moving on. So let's look at the next one. God damn it. Christina. <laughs> that makes me laugh. You know, you like murder. I like this okay. stuff. Okay. Right. This stuff makes me really laugh. Gotcha. Ah, fuck, man. I don't even understand what that bitch is saying. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> We're looking at two dogs and one of them's not so natural. What, uh. what are we looking at? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I'd rather listen to Skylar. What the fuck was that? This is this is this is an asshole that dyes their dog five hundred different colors. Both dogs are like tie dyed. Yeah. I, I think it's so ridiculous. It's totally your does this. It's that's a dick move. I it's think. such a dick move. This dog does not want to be tie dyed. I, I hate when people mess with animals. So that really bothered me. I just thought it was silly. I thought you. Hi more... everything. How are you to find out? Are you feeling right now? Hello, guys. <laughs> channel 2, welcome. Uh, hello, channel. Welcome to my gut. Hello, guys. Welcome to our channel. <laughs> Please, always wear face wash and use hand sanitizer because <laughs> Corona disease is a very, very dangerous city. And always keep social distinguish. Romeo! Save me! Please like, share, and subscribe my video, guys. That was great. That was that cool. Was really right? good. Yeah, the subtitles really did well, it. Well, they're really endearing. 
That's very yeah. sweet. Look, I don't. I'm not making fun of um, no, no. people trying to speak English. It's just the subtitling was really. It's funny. very funny. It's very funny. That was actually very sweet. Cute. Yeah, yeah I like they're that cool. One. Hey mom, do you know what she they pronouns are? I think so. Are they often used by people who identify as demi girl? Yeah, although you don't have to identify as demi girl since pronouns don't always equal gender. Mm. Oh, that's right. I'm still pronouns learning that. Why gender. do you ask about she they pronouns? Well, I've actually been mm. considering using she they pronouns for myself. Oh wow, that's interesting. Did you that just decide that recently? <laughs> no, I've been considering them for a while actually. Oh, that's funny. That's actually more surprising to me than you being gay. But there's one thing I don't understand about she they pronouns. What is it? Won't a lot of people just take the easy route and call you she, her? Yeah, that's one of my concerns is that people just won't <laughs> use my they, them pronouns, but it would make me a lot happier if they did. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> How many of these are we going to watch? Well, I just wanted you to know in case one of our sons comes to us with this discussion, you'll know what the template is, the correct way to have a discussion with your kids about their pronouns. Do you know how to talk to Ellis about his, pro <laughs> his pronouns or Julian? Julian's all... Two and a half. He's going to decide pretty soon what his gender preference is. You know? <laughs> we talk to them about it every day. <laughs> Julian, what are you? Are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> I'm pooping. I know. <laughs> Finish. And then tell me your pronoun, stupid. What are you? And then I ask. It takes some. And then I have to ask him consent to change his diaper. It's a whole thing, babe. Do you want to be a good parent or not? You got to get on board. <laughs> Do you want to be a good parent or not? Yes, I want to be a good parent. In 2020, this is what it takes. <laughs> Can't you imagine showing this shit to your dad? Huh? Oh, fuck. <laughs> what? What? Um, how much? Who, more? How, how, what percentage of the population does this affect? Is there no stat on that? Is there a statistic on that? Like how many non-binary yeah. kids are there? Yeah, like what percentage? I mean, it can't be coming up this much and not <laughs> being substantial, I'm guessing. The study revealed that at least 0.5% of Americans identify, well, that says as transgender or gender non-conforming. Right, so it's even less than 0.5%. Right. Well, I wonder, oh, what about that drop down? What percentage of the population... According to the 35% mm. oh, of the nearly 28,000 transgender respondents to the anonymous online survey identified as non-binary. 35% of 28,000. But we're about 330 million. So what is that roughly? So like? the odds are pretty good that both your sons are going to be non-binary. So it's time to practice the script. I'm telling you. You're... <laughs> Did you know that at Ellis's kindergarten on the applications, they're like, what's his gender, male, female, or non-binary? They already ask in kindergarten. Well, you look, this is, ha I mean, obviously, this is ha what, one thing I'll, I'm pretty certain of um, is, uh, is Ellis. <laughs> Ellis is definitely. He identifies. He identifies as male. Yeah. So does Julian, though. He's sweeter, though. No, no, but I'm saying, like, Ellis is more verbal. Because he's five yeah. and he's just like, that's for girls. <laughs> like he's real aggressive about it. I'm like, okay. So now I'm thinking that he got it from you. <laughs> I've never said that to him. I was like, I'm not a fucking chick. I'm like, no, okay. I don't, I don't. I've, and I have tried, like I used to take him to this baby play class mm -hmm. and they would encourage gender neutral toys. Uh -huh. And I remember they were giving Ellis Barbies and such. And he would be like, what's that thing and then he would just he wanted nothing to do with it yeah, no. and no one nobody persuaded him either way how to beat your wife let's imagine here how are you knife is obviously a boy but let's imagine that he is the wife this is a father and a child how should a husband beat his wife? First, he must admonish her. In other words, he should advise her. He should refrain. He should start beating as a last resort. Beating in Islam. Beating in Islam. Wait, don't move. The husband must make his wife feel his strength. 
Why aren't you listening to me? How many times do I have to tell you? How many times do I have to tell you to listen? Didn't I tell you not to leave the house without my permission? See how? A little bit of rebuke. Obviously, she's starting to talk back. I told you not to leave the house. How many times? I told you not to leave the house. The beating is light, brothers. <laughs> this is a real It's real. Talk? This is a real Islamic lesson. I'm sorry, Islamic lesson for wife beating. Quran verse 434. Okay. But did you get the point is that he's not saying like really beat the shit out of her. You have to admonish right. her verbally first and, and then the little, beating. Little just shoulder a tap, tap. Stupid. Like don't be dumb. Yeah, why'd you leave yeah. the house without asking? I got to say this. <laughs> Honestly, it's pretty cool to watch. It's good advice and I don't <laughs> like it kind of changes my view <laughs> of beating a woman. Well, he's admonishing her verbally. Yeah, that works. First, first. of all, that's a good thing to do. And you could use one or two of these every once in a while. That's what I'm saying. It's not a big deal. And then also, that's not going to, what are you going to call review. the cops? Yeah, light. Over well, that? he says the beating is light, brothers. Right, right. Keep it light, bro. I told you not to leave that. Try it. I told you I not, told you not to leave the house without asking permission. That's, that's a no biggie. That's and, but, no but biggie. you're also, you're learning. Yeah. I could see you're learning. Yeah. <laughs> I could see you're learning in your eyes. In 15, In 15 seconds, seconds we're, we're going to tell you why we're lonely as shit. One, we don't wear face diapers. Two, I will not get the flu shot or the Rona vaccine. And three, we, we voted for Big Daddy, Daddy Don, Don, which takes away most of our female friends' options. Hallelujah. Very cool. Thank you. Very cool. Those are the cool girls. Yeah, I like that one. Bro, these jits is wild, bro. What? What the fuck? Hey, bro, in Ocala, every single time I come out, there's always some crazy shit going on. Look, look, oh my. <laughs> That's just a group of kids playing on their roof. On the roof. roof. They, like, they seem pretty small. Uh-huh. Those little kids are, they're under, not Under 10. five? Yeah, they're, yeah. they're <laughs> like four, five, six-year-olds. Uh-huh. Yeah. And there's not an adult and with them. He was them. like, yo. <laughs> yeah, he did call them jits. He sure did, yeah. What's yeah. that? I don't know. I've never heard it before. I've never. I don't think it's a word for you. Bro, people. these jits is wild. What's bro? jits? I don't know. Google it. He did. Oh. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I'm coming, bitch. I'm fucking. Did you see that, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> this guy is my new favorite. That's pretty good. Man, he's got, he dresses up fancy and he'll go to like the yarn store and do these silly little things. He's just, he's fantastic. Got strong Prince vibes. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Really special. Very nice cool. Yeah. Very cool. Do I identify as a dominant? Yes. If you play with my hair while I'm laying on your lap, am I going to go from daddy to baby real quick? Also, yes. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Remember, when you're burying a body, make sure that you cover it with an endangered plant so it'll be illegal for anybody to dig it up. That's really good advice. It's a good hot tip. That's really good advice. You just got to learn in endangered plants. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no one can touch your shit, man. When you're burying a body, <laughs> bring an endangered plant. Hey, nobody touch my stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> good morning. My queen's above 18. You got the king here over here at Walmart with a young lady. This is one of my queens. She's 26 years old, and she wanted to make a TikTok video. You guys need to jump on my page and uh, but they're already congratulate on your page. her and tell her that she's very beautiful. You guys have a good day. Enjoy, and I will talk to you soon. Say hi. Hi. Does she not have a name? You guys have a good day. Now get on my page and wish her to the family. She's a queen above 18. You guys have a good day. This is a great talk, King. <laughs> Wish her to the family. As we always like to say, we wish you to the family. Wish you to the family. Um, <laughs> I know. There's a lot to unpack in this talk. Number one, it would be like, I think he was like, wow, you you know, you're really beautiful. Like at Walmart. Yeah. And she was like, oh, thanks. Like, it always feels good to hear a compliment. Yeah. And he's like, Do you, you ever done the King Challenge? And she's like, what? He's like, oh, you don't, are you on TikTok? She's like, yeah, I have a TikTok. 
you don't recognize me? And she was like, <laughs> no. He's like, I got a pretty big following. And then he probably showed her and she was like, wow. Yeah. 10,000 people, whatever it is. And yeah. He was like, you want to do one? I love he's like, she wanted to make a talk and that this is the talk. Right. Like, she's probably thinking like, oh, is that like a duet thing? Are you going to dance? Like I've seen right. exciting. I've heard of TikTok. There's yeah. Cool and then stuff. he was like, just sit here by the bathroom and uh, I'll get people. And then he said, jump on my page, even though people watching this are on his page. Oh, Tom, you're reading too much into this. It's pretty cool. I don't even think. She seems I, thrilled. Can I, can I tell you? I don't even think the king has named his username. I think he's like it's user one zero 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 five seven. It's like, the auto thing. Bro, you need to name your Especially if you like account. really took a following. Like if you are, if you're really into it, you should be like, oh, my name is. Is at the king above or the king yes. and queens above 18 or the yeah. king challenge or fucking something. Anyways, this chick, obviously, like you said, doesn't have no idea who he is. She was just shopping and he just sidled up to her because like, she's, she's like, what? He's like, you want to be in a celebrity's video? A celebrity's video. She goes, yeah, who? She totally knows. You don't recognize me? <laughs> oh, totally. He totally did that. Yeah, you're yeah. 100% right. And she's so like, like just like a cute. Yeah, you know. she's just like, I'm just a Walmart. I'm trying to yeah. pee. And then this guy started talking to me. Yeah, he's like, you want it? <laughs> you want to gain like a thousand followers? She's like, um, okay. She doesn't care. No. She does not she's care. She's not excited. It doesn't read like, um, yeah. I'm on your talk. I'm on the King's thing no. whatever page hi ladies uh some people told me that i should come on here and see if there's any single people that want to date i live in the new york area um upstate new york i'm single and i'm looking for somebody special now i do respect jerry von 73 gmail.com because like He's showing you what he's got. He's got a cool apartment. He's got some pots on the ceiling. He wears his boxer shorts. <laughs> he can rock a tank top. Like no, like none of your intuition <laughs> tells you that this is a bad post to find someone. Someone told me to <laughs> maybe meet somebody here. So here I am. I'm in my boxers <laughs> and uh, undershirt. <laughs> And buy my pots. <laughs> Hit me up. What? The fuck? It's so bad. And the angle's terrible. The lighting's terrible. I mean, it's just got all the elements. Like no, like no part of you goes. I'll put <laughs> pants on for this one. I'm trying to. I'm trying to date. I'll put pants on for my first post about dating. Why did he pants put pants on? Pants and a shirt. On? That's what I'll do. Just pants and a shirt. Why did he put pants? You just put pants on. You, that's all you have to do. You could even get away with the ridiculously <laughs> tight tank top. But I think just pants. Right. <laughs> but I think you're right that it's not even a tank top. It's an undershirt. Yeah, it's <laughs> like it's so tight. He knows how tight it is because he covered his belly during it. He was like, I'll put my hands over this. This feels ridiculous. I'm um, single. Anyone want to date? Uh, I'm going to go get pants now. What the fuck? Just put on clothes. That's all I have to do. This guy's not dumb. Oh, you can tell. No, too. that's the thing is that he's. That just shows you together. like how checked out you can be <laughs> in this world. Any friend that knows guy be like, oh, you know this is a really bad way to get a date. Why? <laughs> well, you didn't have any pants on. So anybody that would want to date you would be like, this guy doesn't have the sense to put on pants. Because I will tell you, he's made follow-up talks. I don't know if they're on this bed. But he does try to entice the ladies. He's like, look, I can cook. I make spaghetti. Yeah, like, he's, tell, a, he's a nice guy. You he's can tell sweet. he's a nice guy. Yeah, he's not completely unhelpable, if that's a word. Hel whatever. Hopeless. Helpless. Yeah, like he's... Yeah. I, I, he looks like he's gainfully employed. He looks clean. He looks like he's got stuff. He doesn't live in a van or like... No, he's not out of his shelter. mind. No. He's not like... <laughs> This Bic lighter says brown, and you, now it's not. I pulled the wrap off. It's white. Yeah. Right. Like, he should be able to get a date. He right. should. But here's we what, need here's to help him. He's the kind of guy who is single because he doesn't know to wear pants when you meet people. <laughs> That's his. I know. You know? It's too bad because, like, he's sweet, and I, I he's would very probably sweet. date I him. I hope that Jerry Vaughn 73 at gmail.com. <laughs> 
<laughs> gets pants. That's his TikTok name. I would date Pilato, him. Pilato! Pilato! Oh. Pilato! 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 Holy shit. Yeah, there's a whole new lane on TikTok. It's called Cartel. Cartel, cartel talks. talks. Yeah. The drug cartels. Now, I put this one on because I need you to translate. I'm not quite sure what's happening here, Tom. Well, Piloto is pilot, mm -hmm. right? Um, and he's saying, and this says pirates on the Pacific. So I assume what's happening here is these guys are being chased by either authorities or other <laughs> cartel people. And it looks like they actually made contact. By the way, the boat that's behind them looked enormous mm. and moving at a crazy rate of speed. Let's watch this again. Crazy. That's real. That's someone's TikTok? Yo, there's a bunch of cartel talks right now. They've really gone up and I prison. Saw, I saw one you showed me the other day where this dude was cooking coke. Uh-huh. And he was like, here, the coronavirus cures right in here. And he's cooking cocaine. Yeah. Yeah. That one I sent over the weekend. You probably Holy haven't had a chance shit. to process that one yet. But uh, cartel is crazy. on it. They're, they're showing like planes landing, cooking drugs. And then the prison talks have gone way up right now, too. I saw a bunch of Thanksgiving talks where people were like, we're celebrating Thanksgiving in prison. And then, like, they have music on them, which is why I can't really play. We can't play them on this show. But Holy shit. Yeah, it's, ugh, it's so exciting. That's what's intense because this is like this talk right here could have like six deaths attached to it. Yeah. Like, it, this is really insane. I know. Queens above 18. <laughs> I got this young lady that gave me oh a, text uh, oh. a text. A text? Saying that she's going to call Child Protective on me. Uh-oh. I have no idea why, but you guys need to go on her page and oh. check her out. Oh. She's right above me. She's kind of a page stalker. I don't know, but... Nobody's allowed to be on my page under 18. Yeah. By law? And she said she's very uncomfortable <laughs> watching my videos. Right. I didn't tell her to watch. <laughs> That's a good point. That's true. And she's well over 18, so... Yeah, she can move it along. I have no idea why yeah. or what her problem is. No but idea, my huh? queen's above 18. I love you. You guys have a good night. Um, I'd like to take a moment <coughs> to stand up for the king. <laughs> King, you are 100% correct. This lady who's uncomfortable, I think, is just voicing her opinion that seeing your page makes her physically uncomfortable. <laughs> but you don't need to... Yeah, she can just move it along. She can yeah. swipe up and go to the next talk, and you don't have to change anything about your perfect page. So yeah. everybody wish her to the family. You're doing wish her to the family... You're not doing anything illegal or wrong. That's right, King. You did this one. You're right. But I have to say, there's some drama in the King's world. Uh oh. Yeah. Good evening, my kings and queens above 18. <laughs> I am going to withdraw the King challenge. What? There is a lot of haters out there that's no. got their little pussies up in a bind. Wait a minute. <gasps> the King challenge just. What? This is a YMH <laughs> exclusive. <laughs> yeah, you guys. So there's been a lot of drama on the King's account lately, and it hasn't been good for him. And he said people have their pussies in a bind. Yes. And they're acting like little whine or crybabies. Yeah. If you are 18 you're and above... Are. <laughs> You are allowed on my page. You're, oh, you're allowed. Okay. If you are 18 and below, if you are not allowed on my page. Well, then they're 18. Though. I don't care. Wait a minute. If and buts about it. If I find you on my page and you're under 18, I'm going to delete you. You might slide by a couple times and tell me you're 18, but once I find out, I'm deleting you. That'd be right on Simple the line. Simple as that. I, you guys are the biggest crybabies on the earth. Yeah. I swear to God. Okay. My queen's above 18. I love you all. 
<laughs> I, I love that this also has like the, the narrative of like people are trying to get <laughs> yeah. in here. Yeah. You know, like a club. Like, an ex- like, look, the line is around the block and we are packed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're going to have to wait and I'll tell you yeah. who's allowed in and who's not allowed in. Yeah. He did say that 18 and above you're allowed in, but 18 and below you're not allowed in. It's but, a little contradictory. Yeah, doesn't seem fair. Not sure. Doesn't seem fair to those who are 18 and below. Huh? That's true. What about those 18-year-olds? Yeah, because they're 18. So yeah. why? He was like, <laughs> I, I messed up. But I will say I do admire that he's really taking this account seriously. Yes. And monitoring these comments. And I think fame has gone to his head a little bit. Very, very much so. Very much so. And <laughs> looks like there's one final update here oh my goodness i don't know if i'm ready to click this one you're gonna be sad good evening my kings and queens above 18 hello it ain't that i'm ignoring you i cannot post anything on my page or answer any of your questions they said i was violated or something like that (laughs) you were violated i can't post anything oh dear hell i didn't even get a dinner or a thank you Damn, and they violated me? Wow. Well, at least I didn't feel it. All right, my queens. You guys have a beautiful Thanksgiving, and I will be back probably Wednesday. I love my queens above 18. My kings, you take care of my queens while I'm gone. Okay. Don't disrespect them. Thanks. You hold a high honor. You take care of the kingdom while I'm gone. You guys have a beautiful night. I love my kings and queens above 18. <laughs> you know, I, I do appreciate that he always includes us, meaning the men, the kings out there. Yeah. you. Why is that? What's that about? Is he soliciting videos from the kings above 18 on the down low? I, just, I think he's trying to not be like, be like, it's just for me. So he's allowing. He's sharing the videos. Yeah, with he's guys. letting the men <laughs> get involved too. It, it really makes me, makes me feel included and safe. <laughs> So I like that. It's very cool. Uh, yeah. The yeah. POV one is really the capper for me. Like, I think. Yeah, when he is. I don't like that one. Squatting over the. <laughs> Squat. You know what I mean? Laying over you. He's like, good morning. Hovering, yes. How'd you sleep? I slept good. You want coffee? All right. We got to get ready to work. <laughs> the creepier one was when he's like. You're going to do fine on your midterms. Oh, my God. You got your your finals are coming up. You're going to do just fine. I bet you could offer that girl three Chanel bags <laughs> and she'd be like, no, nah, I'm not. Not doing it. <laughs> also, she'd be like, where's my Chanel bag? He'd be like, I got you this T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you put on your boobs. Says queen on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Do a little dance for me. God. Yeah. What do you think you're seeing? Can you describe what you're seeing right here on the screen? There's a man in a wheelchair, Uh and he's in front of a counter, Uh and he's throwing something behind the counter. He's pissed. He's wheeling away. Yeah. Oh. And he's going to leave the store. Nope. Not until he goes and he gets a basket. He's got a basket. Yep, he's pretty. He's got a few of them, a lot of them. Uh-huh. He's grabbing one. He's throwing, <laughs> throwing it over. It looks like a Bed Bath and Beyond or something like that. He's throwing the baskets over. He's upset, like a toddler, tantruming. There he goes. Uh oh, security! Being like, get out of here! By security! Get out of here! This is what we do to our toddlers. It is. This is like a toddler. You have to take the thing away that they want to throw. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's still mad. Stop throwing that down the stairs. Stop throwing <laughs> it down the stairs. No treats for you. No cartoons. You're not going to watch any more cartoons today. You stop, yeah. it. stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh. Oh, the guy in the wheelchair. And then they fell start crying. Over. You're like, all right, I love you. I'm sorry. <gasps> oh, this poor man. He has no legs, you well, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Dude, he's got good upper body strength. No shit. Yeah. He got back okay, in his he's chair. Back in chair. He's going to go back in. He still hasn't given up. He's very resilient. He looks really fit. Yeah. He yeah. Is. He just broke that thing. He is a fuck, dude. He's really strong. Get oh. it, dog. Damn. He just went in the parking structure. Oh, he broke now that he's too. Fucking up the parking structure. That dude's tight. Yeah. I kind of liked him. Yeah. There should be. He should be a superhero. Agree. Like he avenges people. It's pretty dope. Yeah. Yeah. Wheelchair guy. Wheelchair guy. <laughs> 
I good. would watch that guy all day, dude. He was fly. You see That's, how he moved on that thing? He could fly around in that thing. You know what I'd like to start a petition to do? Because you made it really, you know, there's nothing as important as inclusion. And yes. I feel like Thank there you. should be some type of petition to get a disabled person to be the next Bond or Batman. That's a great idea, Tom. You know what I mean? Like, why That's can't... That's a great idea. Why can't James Bond or Batman be a disabled trans vet? Why? Well, hold on, Tom. Why is that Tom, not a, not a I think thing? I'm a little offended because you also ignored women of color. Why can't Batman or James Bond be a disabled... Trans. Black trans vet. <laughs> Why? That's very ableist of you, Tom. It'd be so cool to see James Bond. What about an amputee? <laughs> roll up, right? And be like, shaken, not stirred. <laughs> you, can, can you send the <laughs> Aston Martin with a driver to get me? Like that, right? Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> and he kind of like, falls out on. of his chair. Yeah. <laughs> He's not quick on the draw, that's for sure. I don't know why that can't be a thing. Cultural oh. push? Oh, goody. What does it say? Go back. Oh. To make the next James Bond a disabled <gasps> transit. What? That's not true. What the fuck? Is this real? No. That's got to be like... No. Is this an Onion article? Yeah, it's a meme, right? Oh, thank God. What do you mean? It's the same exact thing that we this just is said. Crazy. That that does make sense. That makes sense that that's out there. Yeah, it's a <laughs> meme. It's a meme. Holy shit! Wow. I really thought that was a <laughs> news thing. Me too. But what about Batman? Uh. <laughs> Disabled Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Is it so hard? Do better. Do and better. And also, let me speak for the <laughs> like for most people. We want to see that. Yeah, of course we want to see I that. want to see Batman need oxygen. <laughs> I want to see him. Well, I'd love to see an amputee Batman. You never see him. You, you never, never get see to it. see a superhero you never missing see it. limbs or in a wheelchair. No. Except for Magneto. Or having like he? fluid sexuality, you know? <gasps> You forgot. Like you always see like these superheroes bagging like the babe. Why can't he? That's absolutely right. You Tom. know, hook up with somebody else. Absolutely a right. A guy, Tom. a cool guy. Absolutely right. Yeah. We're being so, we're excluding so many people. God damn it. So upsetting. <laughs> um, that was really cool. I'm really glad we have that. What does this say here? As the new rules come into force, I wanted to know if people understand what's expected of them now. It's good to be back. I said to my friend that runs the Grand Wars Club, it's nice to see you open. I think as long as people keep their distance, <laughs> they won't have these uh, fire, whatever, fire breaks anymore. As long as people keep their distance and don't get too excited, it'll all be fine. Wow. That's a Welsh <laughs> accent. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very. I mean, why can't Batman talk like that? <laughs> That's true. You know what I mean? That's so, um, with the word xenophobic of us. Yeah. Fire like, breaks. I don't know what the. F what the fuck is she saying? I don't know. Fire. Fire. Fire breaks. Fire breaks. Fire breaks. What the fuck is she talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, what was it? Somebody sent an email in and they were like, thank you guys for showing <laughs> the best and the brightest that Scotland has to offer. Oh, like, yeah. Apparently we can't. We didn't read any of these. Did we read any of these? Well, I'm most here. Look, go ahead. These yeah. are in re response to Drumline. You know, Nadal's oh, love right. of Drumline has really, really inspired the emails this week. And none of what are those? These uh, are more Drumline. Oh, everything's Drumline. <laughs> Except for this one. <sighs> okay. Um, I mean, let's see here. people are really upset about Nadal loving Drumline. Tim and Kristen. <laughs> I was just watching the newest YMH Live when the subject of Drumline was brought up to, as Nadal's favorite movie. I just wanted to let you guys know I was in, in Drumline for six years. And while the movie is based on a historical black college drumline and the hazing is real, the movie is still completely dog shit. <laughs> I hope 
Nadav doesn't let his kids watch this movie or they will grow up R worded. Love you. Sam de Texas. Um, I jeans, I believe that Drumline has the exact same storyline as the Queen's Gambit. It's not. The main the character was born with talent and a specific thing, but they have to get past no. their hubris to be the best. Kristen, if you like the Queen's Gambit, you should like Drumline. Tim, I, I trust shouldn't. you keep it high and tight. So watch both and weigh yeah. in. Keep feathering it, brother. Megan. It's, it's Megan, not Megan or Megan, because my parents weren't R worded there and they named me. Well, a lot of people are. Well, Megan, I brought this point up on where my mom's at that it's not a new story. This the arrogant young. But by the way, uh, 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 the Queen's Gambit was orphaned genius at chess. Is it a real story? Um, it's great. The guy from Drumline didn't know his dad, so it's pretty much the same. He's not a genius point, at drum. Point counterpoint. Mm -hmm. Queen's Gambit <laughs> is like Drumline, just with chess instead of drums. Uh, one more here. Hey, mommies, I'm not certain, but I'm pretty sure Drumline has contributed to a cultural phenomenon that has outpaced its humble Drumline origins, and that's the invention of the mic drop. Of course, in the film, it was a drumstick drop, but the body language of holding it out in front of you and dropping it as punctuation for emphasis definitely originated in Drumline. So clown it, but it's made an indelible wow. mark on culture and will live on forever. Keep feathering it, chomos. Okay. Wow, big one for Nadav wow. there. Didn't realize. Very cool. Very cool. Let's go out um, on something, uh, uh, one more video that I think you'll enjoy before Queens. we leave here. Got it. So what gives you the right to just... Really? Yeah, I'm going to fucking record you. What gives you the right to just roll up and take a piss? <laughs> you're in public. <laughs> I can tell you're pissing. I was emptying something out. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. Where's the bottle then? <laughs> You're a fucking dumbass. You're a fucking dumbass. You're a fucking dumbass. No, I'm not. You are. You are. No, <laughs> you are. Fucking, what? This for yeah. some YouTube channel or something? No, I'm using it to them so they can have you charged because you're pissing in public, you fucking idiot. <laughs> you don't need to call me names, man. You just called me a dumbass. Well. Didn't you? Yeah, I did. So then I'm going to call you fucking names back. <laughs> you can't even park it right here anyway. I have to go in here. Where Good. Where am I supposed to park it? You go park it around back where the truck parking is. That, we're not delivering here, though. So go park it in back. There's no truck parking right here. You're not even parked properly anyway. You're fucking... There you go. That was the dumbest fight I've ever heard. You are. You are. Well, if you say that's the dumbest fight you ever heard, I raise you another one. That's karma, bitch. That's Karen, what you get for lying in court. Karen. Batman. Karen. Oh, that's a Karen right there. Karen, that's can you a have a conversation? Right Look at you two. You don't right know how to have a fence, conversation. Right up against the property line. You don't think that's intimidating. You try to be intimidating. You don't, you don't fucking intimidate me, fat man. This is ridiculous. You don't intimidate me, fat man, okay? You don't intimidate me, I'm fat man. I'm trying to have a conversation. <laughs> By the way, isn't it, this is like when, you know when something is like a new cultural phenomenon and then grandparents say it and yeah, you're like, wow. Like the fact that Karen took fire. Mm -hmm. To the point where everybody knows it, mm -hmm. right? It, it's like when a song, like when you're, it's like bling bling. Yes, everybody was saying it's bling like bling. A, like you know. a grandmother was like, mm -hmm. "I'm getting jiggy with it." And you're like, "Well, we can't listen to that song anymore." You know what I mean? It's it's yeah. It's Karen is over. Karen has completely, completely yeah. gone mainstream. It's really wild. We were talking about repairing the fence. And she's don't intimidate me at all. You don't intimidate me, fat man. <laughs> don't come on my property. Get your ass back in your fucking garage. Get your ass back in your fucking garage, fat man. Fuck, Get hey. your ass back in your house. No. Nobody wants to hear you. Nobody wants to hear you. Nobody I don't have that I don't, I don't have that problem. I don't have that problem. You do. You go back mm. to the house, fat man. Ooh, she's... You know? You try me, fatso. Yeah, you try me, fatso. You say that enough times, though. That fat, man, fat man. That fat man's gonna come over there. Fat man. I think she's inviting some fat trouble into fat her house. Fat man. Oh yeah. I think so. Come on, fat so. Yeah, you keep, you keep, you know, you, you're, you're just poking. Fat, yeah. fat, fat, fat. And yeah. then all of a sudden, he's gonna, it's like he's gonna eat fat you. guy, puts your fucking head through a, you know, oh, yeah. through a brick. He's gonna eat you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just grabs your head. Boop. Yep. Side of the house. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh, what happened? Yeah, she's. And then really he goes, "Oh, I got hungry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm fat." <laughs> You shouldn't antagonize dudes. I wouldn't do that. It is a real, th that's a thing, man. Ugh. When you, you know what I mean? Yeah, don't do that. You, all you need is a, a, a little unstable neighbor. Oh, yeah. For this to go. Oh, yeah. And then that's how she died. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This bitch had never been hit before. Never been hit. She doesn't have an Islamic husband like me. Yeah, <laughs>
That's a good one. Uh, I know what you like. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really good. <laughs> okay. Well, it was a lot of fun. It was um, fun, Chomos. God, I'm so glad I got the allergy medicine. I know. That was wild. That I wonder was what crazy. you're allergic to. I don't know. I still think... Mm -hmm. so, um, anyways, we need to close out. We have a song here, Down to the Mountain, by... <laughs> what is it? Oh, is it Captain Marcel? It's by Redorath. I've never... Redorath. It's a new one. Redorath. Okay. Um, thank you for supporting us with the live show. Oh. Um, really, really, like I said, enjoyed doing it. We will be announcing another event next week okay so next week you'll hear about the next event okay, i think shit. it's pretty exciting and that's that gene i love you mommy love you too bye guys bye gene hello this is captain marcel my sister went down going down to the mountain and say my sister tell everybody i'll be back i need me back up I need back up. Take my sister. I need back up. My sister went down, 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 down to the mountain. Down, 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 down,